Hello everyone from around the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, welcome back to a Nordic Classic cast. This is going to be the final eight, final cast, or final quarterfinal cast. Um, this is going to be PLA versus Call of Daddy. Very exciting match here. Um, the final match, obviously, is a very important match for all the teams because it is single elimination at this point. Um, so, you know, if whichever team loses is out of the tournament and whichever team wins will advance to the semis. Um, this time, I believe they're, the winner of this match will play versus AS Gladiators, um, according to the bracket. So let's take a look at... Um, oh, actually, sorry. Briefly, uh, well, before I forget to mention it... Um, because it's important. Um, we are, I'm joined today by Old Dirty H. Say hello, Oldie, if you can. Hey guys, I'm here. All right, and um, we today's guest caster is Phantom, but unfortunately, Phantom has um, some sort of work thing, so um, he's going to be running a little bit late. Hopefully, he can catch um, you know some of the later games in this series. Um, yeah, but he will be joining us uh, when he can. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to hop on. Um, and we'll be able to hear his uh, voice. All right, so um, this is, again, this is going to be a match between PLA Kung Fun versus Call of Daddy. So on PLA Kung Fun, we've got PLA Old Cat, PLA Soul, PLA Wolf, and PLA Ben. They're up against Call of Daddy, which is XXX Daddy, Fatabi, Troll, and AS versus our job or psychologist. Um, so we've got um, these two teams. Um, you know, it's hard. You know, I, I think a lot of teams have pegged PLA as the... Uh, a lot of teams and players have pegged PLA as the favorites in this match. Um, personally, I think it is uh, pretty, it's a toss up. Um, and I, I talked with Oldie before this, um, you know, both teams definitely have a chance to do really well, um, would love to see some really awesome teamwork from both the teams. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just really excited for how this match is going to go again, it's going to be best of five, as all the top eight quarterfinal matches are. Um, so pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, I agree with you. I think Hey, yes, this, I mean, uh, PLA is the favorite, but uh, I think Daddy can steal one or two games to make this a series. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, if, if Daddy really pulled together and they show their stuff and they show that they've been working hard, they can definitely they can definitely get the um, pull the underdog victory. And it's going to be PLA who have to put their foot down and say, no, we are the better team. So um, definitely interested to see what happens. Bands wise for uh, PLA, they cannot pick Lakota, Iroquois or Greeks. Um, that's. Daddy banning Lakota, Iroquois, and Greeks for their opponents. And on the other side, Call of Daddy can't pick Japs, British, or Greeks. Um, so that's PLA banning Japs, British, and Greeks for their opponents. Currently, the games are being played, like, right now. Like, th th I think they're in the middle of um, some some of the later games in their series. Um, so we'll be getting the I'll be getting the replays one by one as they finish. Um, for now, I do have... Um, I do have game one so uh we are going to load that up before we jump into game number one we're going to talk about the donations quickly if you like the nordic classic and you want to support the prize pool and you want to make things just a little bit more exciting what you can do is you can go to the front page of the nordic classic and click on this prize pool link that's also in the youtube description below and you can donate to the prize pool um Thank you so much for our donors so far. That's Some Penis for Your Mouth, El Cipher, Wizard of War, Kron, PLA, Jatin, Vibrak, this anonymous person, Miss Connor, as well as Bob. Thank you so much to, um, to those of you who have donated. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, just makes things a little bit more exciting for our viewers and, um, and players participating in the tournament. Um, all right. Uh, Oldie, are you ready for game number one? I'm ready to do it. All right. So I do currently have games number one and two right now. Um, so let's load up game number one here. Again, this is Call of Daddy versus PLA, game number one. All right, I'm at zero seconds when you're ready, Oldie. Yeah, I'm ready, go. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, so this is going to be Great Lakes, it looks like, um, one of the more exciting maps, and I don't have my sound on, so I'm gonna turn on my uh, oh, I do have my sound. Okay, it's just kind of quiet. Um, all right, so this looks like it is going to be a Lakes match. Um, so let's take a look at the players and their nations. For Call of Daddy, we have Troll. We have Ace the Dushavri, D Dushvari. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, that is Daddy and Fatabi. And they're up against PLA Wolf, PLA Soul, and PLA Old Cat. Nations-wise, we've got Troll with Koreans, um, Daddy with Lakota, Fatabi with Iroquois, and they're up against... Wolf with British, Soul with Japanese, and Old Cat with Spanish. Um, 
You know, nations-wise, I definitely have to give the edge to PLA. I think, you know, while I, I love my I love me some Lakota, I think that PLA just has the better nations for this map. Spanish, one of their, you know, one of their good benefits in this map is those ranged heavy infantry and gunpowder age. They'll just slaughter cavalry, which are really, really good. Um, and, you know, Japanese obviously are insanely fast, as and British also, the extra commerce cap really, really helps um, in a longer game, as lakes games tend to go longer. Um, on the other side, though, Lakota can be pretty powerful on lakes um, with, you know, stable rushing in, um, in Classical Age, getting those early raids in, um, Iroquois getting maybe some land raids going, and Koreans, they have a pretty good boom as well, and they can also, you know, push easily. So um, I think it's definitely going to be, nations-wise at least, it's going to be on Call of Daddy to be the aggressors um, in this matchup, but uh, that's going to be tough, especially against, you know, a British opponent who is going to have towers and archers and a Japanese opponent who is going to be very fast. Um, all right, so let's take a look at where the players have spawned. We have, on the very left side, the blue Spanish player, PLA Old Cat. Above him, the purple Japanese player, PLA Soul. And on the bottom side, their last teammate, the white British player, PLA Wolf. Across from Wolf on the bottom side, we have the yellow Koreans player, Troll. On the very far right, the green Lakota player, Daddy. And on the top side, the red Le uh, Iroquois player, sorry, red Iroquois player, Fatabi. Alright, so this is a pretty interesting setup. Usually you would think um, on Lakes maps, the uh, pocket player is more actually in the pocket, but it looks like Daddy spawned way on this right side over here. Um, and uh, Lakes-wise, looks like both teams are not going to be unhappy. This is a uh, six fish farm, I think. Six fish lake here for um, for Troll and uh, Daddy here, on or Fatabi and Daddy on the right side here. Um, but for PLA, they've got a five and a four fish uh, lake. They're both fairly protected, so you should be fairly happy. Um, you know, it's nice. Yeah, this is a good. This is a good race to get a six fish on a, uh, on a three versus three map. It's really nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, it is nice for the um, for PLA that they do have the Spanish player in the pocket. Usually, you want your slower players or the players that you know can't protect themselves as well in the in the pocket, because um, uh, you know it's it, otherwise they might be prone to getting rushed or something. You know, Spanish are the slower nations out of their, or slower slash weaker nations out of the nations. Again, it is their tier three nation, um, and it's nice to have the British player on the edge, um, on the wing. I mean, because you know the British player has pretty good defenses, can put up those towers with awesome range, um, get free archers, and their archers are really awesome, as we know. Um, and you know, the Japs player is very far away from the Iroquois player, so that's definitely going to benefit the Japs player quite a bit. Already getting up the library, nice work there from old, um, from Seoul. I mean. And uh, let's take a look at the Ruin Counts, because uh, this early in the game, Ruin Counts is going to be really important. It's actually going to be Troll with an insane amount of Ruins, 250 already. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody else is still uh, still getting up their uh, Ruin Counts. Um, you know, PLA are doing pretty good for themselves as well. You know, Old Cat has 150 Ruins, um, that's 5 Ruins. Um, Soul has uh, 125 as a Japanese player, he's going to be pretty fast. And uh, Fatabi and Wolf are doing the worst, but whatever, they're... They're still going to be fairly fast here. Um, let's take a look. It does look like Fatabi's kind of um, struggling for wood, unfortunately, early on. Um, he only yeah. has a plus four right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, he could have a plus six on this side. He looks like he just didn't... He accidentally put down his wood camp over there first. Um, but he's going to be able to get up his yeah. library at a reasonable time. Looks like the Lakota player might go for science or commerce. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and... Koreans player is going to get a commerce one, and the British player is actually very slow. Look at this. Um, only getting down the library at 420. Doesn't even have all the farms filled. Um, just a little on the slow side compared to all of the other players. Spanish player is going for commerce one, and Jab player already has that commerce one finished. Um, so, uh, yeah, and you see uh, yeah. Fata Fatabi in the chat are saying I'm a little slow because of bad wood. Um, yeah, and you can see the library is a little slow for Iroquois. Typically, they're a little bit faster, but still, I don't, I don't think it's unheard of too bad. They got no, a ton of still, the, yeah, he's still ahead of, of the here, so. he's still he's still ahead of the British player. You know, he's he's clicked up on Commerce one before, and he also has extra eighty food and a second woodcutter's camp, so he should be okay um, compared to uh, his opponents. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at the rares quickly. So for um, 
Uh, actually, Soul's gonna go for Civic, which I don't really like, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. So for rares, for the PLA, they've got Sugar and Salt right next to Kyoto. Those are two pretty good rares for an infantry-based army. There's Pappy right next to Madrid. That's an insane rare on this map, as is Amber. Um, and then further down in, in Wolf's territory, they've got Spice and Peacocks. Peacocks are actually pretty good on this map. Um, 10% to your yeah. population limit after you get, basically after you get mill 2 is, that's 82, or mill 3, that's um, 110. So it's plus 7 and plus 10, you know. Yeah, if you if you get a Peacocks and a Furs, it's kind of like uh, Surge and I were talking about the last stream. It's like a mini Colossus because yeah. you can keep getting the, that mill and then, the, like you said, the plus 10% with the Peacocks. It's a huge advantage. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that about wraps it up for rares that are actually available for um, PLA. On the other side, for uh, Daddy, let's take a look. Um, they have... Um, on the very bottom right here, we have tobacco as well as obsidian, two knowledge rares. It's nice for them. There's diamonds and wine as well as marble. Uh, wine and diamonds being the standouts there. Um, there's furs on the very right side next to Onondaga. And then in the middle, there's bison as well as above um, Onondaga. There's gems a little bit out of the territory. So it does look like interesting mix of rares. Um, PLA have the better have have the better standout rares. Definitely, you know, Pappy is awesome. Um, sugar is really good as well. Peacocks is pretty solid, but their opponents have way more knowledge rares. I mean, like, let's just count the numbers. So we've got one tobacco, obsidian, one, two, then wine, three, gems, four, and as well as furs, you know. So they've got four knowledge rares for daddy plus a library rare with furs. On the other side, for, um, for PLA, they've got, um, one library rare, um, and one library rare, Pappy, and then two knowledge rares, so Pappy and Spice, um, but Pappy is a really powerful rare on this map, so, um, you know, I, 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 I don't know, Oli, what do you think? Yeah, I, uh, it's hard to say, um, uh, it really comes down to Lakota, right? If he can get in there and disrupt this, uh, obviously, uh, PLA having the Spanish advantage, so they're gonna see all the rares right away, and, uh, be able to take advantage. I mean, they definitely have the, PLA has the more late game rares, it seems like, um, uh, with pappy yeah and uh so we'll we'll just see how it goes but i, I really think the kid the x factor here is going to be uh daddy how is he going to play with lakota i as you mentioned before it started uh um uh, you know pla probably has the edge of nations but yeah. um L lakota is so frustrating and i think that's why soul actually sieved forward he's probably trying to protect his lake a little bit so he doesn't get sieved on right you know pushed yeah. right up on by yeah. lakota that, I, yeah and that's that would be really uh, bad getting sieved on right there especially facing off an Air yeah. Iroquois player um yeah because like, if you see his woods kind of in front that's a, that's a very bad spot but uh the advantage of lakota is he can put that dock anywhere and that's one thing i love to see from lakota players is is dock all these lakes raid yeah. the lakes just be a big nuisance uh, yeah but we already see this thing. is some nice work already from daddy here he's putting up a tower at the back left side on old old cat's wolf uh woodcutter's camp that old cat hasn't scouted at all that's gonna be pretty yeah, annoying. It's beautiful um, Old Cat does look like he's going to go for Colossus. I like this move. Uh, perfect execution so far. He's, he's used Pappy. He's a very quick age time. Um, wish he was using Sugar as well, but uh, I guess it's hard to get the Merchant there in time. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, and then Pappy's good enough. It's right there in your, yeah. in your, in your capital, so... Yep, he is going to go for that Colossus, as expected. Fatabi's also going to age up. Um, I imagine... Looks like he was also going for a Wonder. It looks like he's going to stick with Hang Guardeds instead. Um... And this this tower is finished for uh for um daddy you know yeah but it's really it's fortunate for daddy that it's old cat who's going for that wonder and now daddy can get up this get up the bear tower and gonna get up a barracks as well would like to actually i would have liked to see a um a stable instead of a barracks here because he is has already clicked up the age um and i think a stable is just more effective rating unit but uh currently you know, we, we do see Old Cat, he's he's starving for wood. He ra he has to raise his wood camp. He's put down another one on the other side. He's going to have to walk all the way there. He does have a mill, but he won't be able to get up his barracks in time. He's going to go for a, a tower instead, um, which I do think is a good choice. He used up that, a bit of metal. Yep. Let's take a look at what the other texts the players are going for. It looks like Korean's player is going to go... Finishing up Science 2 right now has gone Commerce, Science 2. I would have liked to see a Com 2, actually. Um, just because I think Calm 2 is pretty good on this map. Uh, we do see a raid from Sol here on Furs, and that's going to be pretty annoying. Um, Iroquois player actually canceled the age and went for Calm 2. This merchant looks like it's going to die. Yeah, once again, this is something you have to be aware of when you're playing a Spanish opponent. Just count on constant raids. You know, yeah. get towers up early, or at least get a couple archers in the back. And, uh... 
you know, unfortunately, Fatabi here is getting caught with his pants down. Yeah, he uh, doesn't have mill. Um, he he really yeah. needs to click on it as soon as he can. Um, looks like he's trying to get that merchant going. And actually, pretty sure Soul can just fight against these two citizens. I, I don't think. Um, yeah, you can just micro around these citizens and yeah. harass them. But I, I don't know why Fatabi. I think I mean Fatabi's delaying his mill quite a bit. I think he should just click up on it. He saves a bit of food, but um, it's not great. Now, actually. It's, they're going to let their opponents get both wonders, both of the good wonders anyways, Colossus and Hang Gardens. Um, so, uh, would love to see somebody on the on the Daddy team contest, especially with Tobacco, but we do see another raid from Soul. Um, Daddy just using these rares in the middle of nowhere, and they're going to get punished for not having their mills ready. Um, on this side, yeah. now we do see a, the raid coming in from uh, Daddy. He's actually going to deny Colossus for a little bit. Um, he's microing decently going to save this uh, Bowman. Oh, no, he's not gonna get picked off actually um he and he's doing these... some work in the water if you look here he lost or uh, he's got a couple shits uh, barks but he's doing some good work in this lake down here too yeah, yeah definitely. He is. yeah it's tough when you're lakota also you can't tower everything you need your teammates to step up and help out yeah so, definitely uh, and so far you know daddy's doing good work but uh he he won't be able to deny this colossus forever would love to see him start target firing some citizens rather than trying to slow down the Colossus because at this point, you know, Old Cat's really starting to hurt for, uh, gonna be hurting his economy, right? Like, if, if Daddy just yeah. moves over and starts raiding the wood camp, raises the mine, these Pappy merchants, it could be caused a lot of damage because Old Cat, Old Cat is behind in terms of, uh, military. He's, he doesn't have enough units quite yet. Would love to see Daddy get up a stable at some point, but, uh, not sure where that is. Looks like he's just building up the infrastructure at home. Yeah, and I mean, uh, hopefully we'll see him. He could actually this uh, wood camp in London is pretty exposed too. That would be nice. He could kind of double raid here, but it looks like he's just going to focus on old cat, which is fine. Um, sometimes it's better just to pick one guy and just yeah. Pick on him. And it does look like PLA have done a good job of driving Daddy's uh, raiding fleet away. Um, now we're just going to see us everybody settle into a lo looks like a longer boom game. PLA is going to be able to grab both of those wonders, and that's going to give them a big advantage early on. Um, Really, I, yeah, I'm not so really sh sure why Fatabi didn't just age and grab Hanging Gardens because that, I mean, sure your opponent gets uh, gets Colossus, but Hanging Gardens is really awesome on this map. So I, I don't really yeah, know why he didn't I, do that. Yeah, he canceled it. I think he was gonna go for it. Maybe he wanted Colossus and then realized. I thought so. Cat was getting it, so then he's just like, well, oh, but instead. now I mean, oh, now let's look at Fatabi. He's he's clicked up on Mill before aging, and that's usually a sign that somebody wants to be really aggressive. And, yeah. you know, now that I think of it, I think that's actually not a bad idea. If if uh, Daddy and and Fatabi just double um, double soul here, it's going to be hard for Old Cat to really get anything going for a little while because he did get slowed down a ton by that raid. Um, had to pull citizens, had to raise his wood camp, etc. Um, but it does look like Daddy's queuing up more hoplites over here and going to try to rush for Madrid. I, I don't really know what the plan here is um, with that move. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not going to work because uh, Old Cat knows you're there. So yeah, those, now, those high rushes rely on sneak attack, and this isn't going to be a sneak attack. Yeah, and, and so looks, here... The tower's going to get bribed here. Yeah, th this is a pretty scary bribe. Uh, Daddy needs to target fire this senator really quick. Looks like he is going to yeah. get it. He's going to get the kill off. That's got 100 wealth in his pocket, which is nice for him. But now the British archers of, uh, of Wolf here are to support, and there's no way... Um, Daddy's going to be able to hold it off. Does look like he has a stable, and actually he's going to put the city of Oyupe very forward, right next to Madrid, really. Um, would love to see Daddy raise these buildings now so he doesn't get them bribed, because um, he's doing, you know, he, he's fighting, but he... Yeah, yeah, yeah just raise the tower, raise the, the, the barracks. They did their, they did their job. And yeah, but these light the... horses from Daddy are actually quite good. Um, they, you know, British oh, yeah. longbowmen are awesome, but... Um, he's just going to be able to pick pick off these units. Uh, would love to see him target fire a little bit better. He's currently just targeting a uh, bowman, and he might get this light horse bribe actually, which would be really bad. Um, this city does go up. Yep, he's going to get the light horse bribe. That's a pretty bad engagement, unfortunately. Just a lack, a little bit of a lack of micro there for Daddy. Would love to see him raise these t this tower and uh, barracks, but um. All right. Uh, so a pretty interesting exchange there. Um, let's take a look at what the Koreans player is up to. Looks like he's just booming along. He actually hasn't queued up any scholars, which is a big deal. And still, it's Seoul who's just constantly raiding in the middle and Daddy not doing anything to contest it, really. They don't have any light horses there. They don't have any towers there. There's They've they've lost a couple um, 
a couple of merchants yeah there. The, this is this is on troll and fatabi here i mean uh, daddy's doing everything he can as a lakota player to be uh, uh, aggressive in the front he's got a nice aggressive city he's been harassing old cats since the beginning of the game and uh his teammates are dropping the ball just letting these guys raid uh, yeah, I mean, and they've they've seen Soul. This isn't like they just got caught off guard here. Soul's been raiding pretty much the beginning since the beginning too. So you got to get some light cavalry out, get some archers out. Um, you know, you can't just rely on Lakota to tower everything. Yeah, and it does know? look like Old Cat's gonna stumble into this um, into the city of Oyupe here, um, the Lakota city, and that's gonna be fortunate for PLA. They're gonna be able to scout that out and uh, try to make something happen here. Um, try to hold, either hold off the assault or uh, make something happen on the other side, or maybe a triple or something. Um, here we see Fatabi getting up the siege factory, but um, Sol has scouted that, and he's actually pretty close to aging. Let's take a look at how Fatabi's doing. He's getting up his income as well. Um, the knowledge gap is pretty high, though. I mean, look look at it. Um, 135 to 95. Um, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really hard to do that. Um, in terms of army number, it does look like um, it's roughly even. Would love to see Fatabi get some. Um, would love to see Fatabi get some more units out. Uh, start queuing up a catapult, but instead he's just gonna let his light, his horse archers die to this light horse. I'm not really sure what he's up to here. I'm just not, yeah, laboring, not paying attention. Yeah, yeah he's gonna I think, lose one uh, for free. Yeah, he's just uh, just a little little lazy on the micro. Yeah, here on this side, uh, Daddy is going to get up his production. He's going to get a stable, a barracks. And we actually do see here Fatabi here queuing up units as well. It looks like they are just going to try and kill Old Cat, um, which I don't mind because, er you know, everybody, it's kind of hard for the British player to push into the Korean player. And, you know, the Japs players, it's going to be hard to push into a um, into a Iroquois player, right, with those hidden units. Um, yeah, and if you look at uh, Troll, he's actually quite a ways ahead of, uh, of Wolf here in the library. Yeah, two uh, techs each in all columns. Well, has enough techs for age as well. Whereas, yeah. um, it was basically Wolf is missing that uh, commerce too, and I'll, he's only getting mil, mil now. In terms of knowledge income, it's yeah. 104 to 120. So, um, does look like Troll's a little bit ahead. He's going to get up to that university and queue up more. Um, and uh, Troll says in the chat, okay, well, yellow, uh, purple's raiding the rares. Well, yeah, you got to do something about it. He's just not, yeah. you know, we do see Daddy finally send a cataphract, and that's finally going to pick off these bowmen that I think they've killed, like, a couple merchants at this point. And this horse archer here, that's going to be annoying. Um, would love to see start starting to queue up some seat units at the siege factory here for, um, for Daddy. Yep, Catapult is queued up, and he's also starting to raid the water again. Two galleys fully upgraded. Um, really like that choice. Just continuing to force, just pressing on different fronts, you know, just continuing to be annoying. Um, would love to see a stable somewhere in the back here for Daddy, just to start raiding in the back and then push in the front. Um, attacking your opponents from two fronts can be really, really powerful. Um, on this side, on the top side, Sol is going to get up his production. He's going to go for a second stable and a siege factory. Looks like he's going to try to get aggressive because this game looks like a pretty scrappy one thus far. Fatabi is going to yep. be ready to age very soon. Would love to see a second university, which he is getting. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Nice little raid like, from um, Sol here in the back. Fatabi's got a little army stacked up. Looks like Old Cat's going to try and pressure all the way here. But um, let's see if Daddy can counter and then push at uh, Madrid. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a triple at Madrid, actually. Look at the production from uh, Troll here. Um, would love to see some more units here. They do they have a couple production buildings here for Daddy, but there's just not enough, and this attack's very slow, and it also looks like um, looks like PLA pushed off the assault in the water here. And um, Old Cat actually has a pretty large army. His knowledge income's really hurting. He only has one sit he only has one uh, university right now. But uh, he, he, he's in, that's because he's invested in army, which I think is a wise choice. Um, uh, this is uh, Daddy sleep, sleeping by a, um, a horse archer. Um, nice little move there. They, all these areas are exposed to getting raided. And now um, Gold Cat's forced to split his army. Would love to see a push at this point from, um, from Fatabi and, uh, and Daddy. Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, they're all there. Like you said, all three are there. It looks like they're going to go for the kill on Madrid, and I like this move. They just uh, they're, they're just a little going. slow. It's it's 18 yeah, it minutes seems, into the game. Um, seems a little passive here. It looks like this is like a not very committed rush, and I think they need to commit more. Um, in fact, they're going to get the sieges sniped here for uh, Daddy. He's not paying attention. 
Yeah, he loses a siege already. That's really bad. Um, you really, really don't want to lose sieges like this um, early on. And uh, it looks like Daddy's not really microing. He could be target firing these archers here with these horses, but instead he's just gonna let um, let Old Cat walk in. Although Old Cat is taking this is a pretty bad fight to take. You see units from all yeah. three players. Really, no need to um, fight it. Looks like all the players are aging up, except for Old Cat who. Uh, doesn't really have the food right now. He's gonna go for a city at the front. This is a bit of an ambitious city. Um, and yeah. uh, looks like Daddy was able to save one of his sieges and he's queued up another one. Um, and uh, let's take a look at this top side. Looks like Sol has a small little army. He's gonna get up. Um, he has two sieges, a couple crossbows. Uh, he does have a. Fatabi does have a tower and he's gonna get a temple. He's also aging now, so should be able to hold this off for a little bit. Um, would love to see a uh, militia here um, researched for um, for Tabi. He could probably clean this up actually with a bunch of militia. On this side, looks like oh, yeah. Daddy Very and easily. Daddy for Tabi and uh, Troll are just going in. They I, Troll doesn't actually have that many units here. It looks like he's been just booming basically. Um, but he does have a castle and he's going to get mill three and he's he's going to be able to pump out a lot of units. But now on this side, for Tabi's going to lose the city easily if uh, if nothing if they don't do anything about it. Fatabi needs to put a lookout because uh, that, that will make a city large and that will stall at the time. This keep isn't really going to help. Um, in the middle here, they're just pushing on Madrid though. It does look like Wolf is here to support with a couple of units. And I think this is um, this is an issue of they just didn't get enough siege in time. They, they really need the sieges. I don't know why Daddy's not upgrading Trebuchet because he really needs it at this point. Um, they are doing a lot of damage to uh, um, Old Cat here who, who's really hurting for yeah. the food income and basically pretty much everything else. And... Now, Wolf is going to lose a bunch of his archers. Yeah, Old Cat's a big trouble here. He, he still hasn't aged yet. He's still in age two. Yeah, so but Daddy's just... units are unupgraded, which is why he's taking a bunch of losses here. Um, and it's just not super not super great um, work here. Now it does look like uh, Fatabi's going to try to fight on the top there, but um, it's not going to work out because the Japanese player has boomed a ton, um, has a very good economy, has a pretty good army as well. Um, Whereas Fatabi is kind of struggling for metal at this point um, and doesn't have upgraded units, so he's going to need to retreat. In fact, the city of Onondaga is small, so it could get taken very easily. Um, the city of Ch Ch Chemung is um, is already taken by the Soul here, who has a pretty solid army. Um, and uh, yeah, Fatabi's in big trouble here. He, he's yeah. got to get these cities large. He's got to uh, he's got to hold and let his team try and kill. Yeah, but I mean, um, this is just poor execution. Look, look at this. Like, why is Daddy sieging the stable at the front here. That it's clear Old Cat doesn't have the resources to produce. He really needs to siege the city of Madrid. I I don't know yeah. what he's doing. He's really dropping the ball here for his allies because I think they they would be winning easily. Um, it unfortunately I I, I think Sol really had it had to uh, build a production unit building or two at Madrid. It does look like Madrid's going to go down. They are burning in attrition slowly, but it's you know they just have a lot more army. Let's take a look here. We've got a couple archers for Old Cat. Um, and uh, Wolf here, and they're doing a good choice. Um, they've kind of got their units grouped up in the back over there, um, yep. at behind Madrid, which is always a good choice. And now it looks like Daddy are, Daddy's going to be forced to retreat. They lost their army advantage because, well, the the catapults weren't there in time, and now they're going to have to back off. Yeah, you but, can't sit in that attrition that long. Yeah, the militia are pulled yep. for um, for Old Cat, and he was definitely slowed down a ton by that. But uh, I mean, now now I mean. Wolf has gone completely untouched, so... Yeah, Wolf's got free, full free boom, Old Cat's gonna age now, and uh, Soul's gonna take Fatabi at some point. Um, this could be a big trouble here for Daddy if they don't make something happen soon. Yeah, and we see the raids continuing for Soul in the back, you know. Uh, this These knights not really gonna do anything against this tower, but um, still, like, there's a raiding unit coming around the back, another knight um, for these players, and there's nothing to protect here for Troll, uh, you know, big lack of lack, lack of um, sight here. But Troll is booming very well. I mean, look at look at his library. Look look at how many scholars he has. Look at that knowledge income. Two twenty five knowledge income compared to the uh, uh, one fifty nine of um, of Wolf here, who has now popped up to two hundred one after illiteracy. Um, and uh, Old Cat only has sixty five, and Soul has one hundred seventy. So even Soul's not doing great here. Um, yeah, this this could be up to Troll here. He's he's had a pretty much a free boom as well. And, yeah, uh, it, I, mean, I you know I I don't think that was the right choice in this game. I think they were trying to all they were trying to take uh, 
Old Cat City, which, I mean, they cause a lot of economic damage, but um, yep. it feels like if Troll had committed a couple more units, they could have killed Old Cat straight up. Now we do see Daddy yeah, rotating backwards right. to help out Soul, which I, or to help out uh, Fatabi, which I think is a good choice. Um, Fatabi is pretty far behind at this point. He does have Science 3, um, and he's actually fighting on water as well um, on this side in the in the bigger lake. Again, this is really nice work from Daddy, just pressuring the lakes of... Um, the lakes of... Um, what do you call it? Of PLA here, and it looks like they are on the back foot. It, and on the bottom side here, Daddy's also pressuring this lake on the bottom side, though he's going to lose a galley if he doesn't micro. Um, so just really nice work from these players. Um, Daddy's now kiting backwards, trying to drag uh, Soul's army out of position. Um, fortunately, Fatabi doesn't have any military, it looks like, because he's pop-capped. And uh, still, they're getting raided. Soul, really, really nice work. These raids have been really devastating. Um, and if we took a look at the units killed count, um, Sol is clearly leading in terms of units killed ratio, at least. He's got 32 unit kills. Um, now we see um, Fatabi going to go for a Forbidden City um, because Wolf grabbed Pyramids earlier. And now yeah, it looks now like they're... See, see a little frustration from Daddy here. They say... Uh... 90, what, what the F are you doing? No army. Um, well, he's losing. That's what he's doing. He's yeah, losing I mean, soul, yeah, so. he, you know, the, the rotation from, the attempted rotation from um, from Daddy was good, but he has to go back because now he's going to get doubled at the front side. And uh, this is Troll really dropping the ball. I, I don't know where his army is, what, what he's doing here. He looks like he's going to go for a gunpowder age attack, but he's kind of leaving his ally out to dry. He, I think he really needs to bring some citizens over to... Um, to the city of Oyupe here at the front um, and just repair it basically, just stall it while he goes and uh, protects, while he goes and starts sieging wolf cities. Because um, both wolf and old cat are here clearly and they're very far away from rotating. Um, Daddy's pinged well, it out. It, and... it does look like Troll is going to age here, so I think he's just going to maybe try and kill his side. Yeah, but it's a nice little army. slow. He does have three sieges, which is a nice choice, and he's actually pop capped now. Um, but Fatabi's going to die on this side. I mean, he. He has a Senate raise, which is a nice, nice work from him. Um, but uh, he's, he's not going to have. Forbidden also. He's yeah. Getting forbidden City, so. Yeah, this is a pretty close game. I mean, look at the scores. Um, it's really tight. Um, Fatabi is kind of struggling here. Um, city of Onondaga is getting sieged. There's no temple. Um, Senate is nowhere. I'm not really sure. Senate is getting put down at Kagan in the back, but it's a little late. I think he needs to do that much earlier. If, uh, if Sol wanted, he could just walk in and take the city. Fatabi oh, realizes, oh shoot, I need to get the Senate finished. He's going to pull yep. those units over. I think Sol gave him a little too much respect here. He yeah, a little bit. He that. can just walk in. The Senate is going to finish up, and the capital is going to get moved. Um, and that's a crucial save for, um, for Fatabi here. Um, he really just needs to... Really needs to just keep it alive, uh, keep himself alive, keep his uh, cities alive, and try try to hold off so Troll can hopefully do something. Um, yeah, Troll's aged now. He's got a nice little army. He's going to have to be fast, though. Yeah, I mean, he, he needs to move, right? Um, he needs to get Monarch up as soon as possible. He needs to get those sieges upgraded. His, and then he's doing everything right. He's, oops, he's getting his units upgraded. He's... Um, He's getting uh, his sieges important. He has a pretty good unit composition, a bunch of cavalry, um, some light infantry for arquebusiers, um, and he just needs to get a couple citizens over, which looks like he has a tower to help at Oyupe. Um, also would love to see Troll just bring some citizens over to Fatabi's side, um, just to uh, try and protect Onondaga, just slow down the push from um, from Sol here. Because Sol has been investing in uh, a military quite a bit. I mean. We saw him go from mill before science, um, and uh, looks like Fatabi's doing an okay Wolf's job holding here. He's Wolf's gonna, gonna get caught. Wolf's gonna get caught at a position here. He's he is aging, but it looks like uh, Troll is gonna be able to sneak along the side here. It's always good on lakes to drop a lookout just on the side to avoid this from happening. Yeah, and there's um, nothing to protect London at Portsmouth. There's yeah. a tower and keep. But there's nothing yeah. at London, and Forbidden City's nothing. already taken by Fatabi, so that's a yeah. nice preemptive work from him. Um, would love to see Fatabi try and snipe that supply wagon so he can start forcing his opponent to burn in attrition, or just sneak some cavalry around the side to uh, take out these catapults here. 
Um, but it looks like one is one is going to go down unopposed. To look, it looks yeah, like, and I now the, how he's going to stop this. Now the army here at London. I mean, there's four sieges here. He's getting monarch. He didn't bring a supply wagon, which is a bit of a mistake. But uh, he's going to completely destroy the economy of Wolf here. And Wolf's way out of position. He's going to run back. Um, now we do see here, Daddy. Uh, he he probably has enough army to hold stave off this assault from Sol, especially considering all these defensive towers. But City does actually go down. Um, Daddy being a little slow in the draw. If his units had been a little closer, I think he holds that for a little while longer. And London's going to go down. There's no temple here. There's nothing. Um, Troll's absolutely yeah. stomping over Wolf right now. I mean, he's and Troll's done a great job. This is something you want to do when you your opponent's out of position. Split off your army. Just raid all of their cities, basically. Um, yep. Um, currently, my I mean, the capital sacked. Um, Troll's going to be able to take this easily, and I would love to see him send resources to Fatabi at this point. Um, yeah, and Fatabi's also send really... a, um, a, you know, he's a Korean, send a couple of citizens up and repair London, try yeah. and get that thing to hold it. I mean, it's a, it's a five minute to a four and a half minute timer. Um, they have plenty of time to take it back, and they, my guess is they probably will eventually, but at yeah. least he could stall it for as long as possible. Yeah, he's going to go for Porcelain Tower just to cement his boom a little bit, um, which I don't mind, but I think he, he's pop capped. He needs to send his resources somewhere, and I would love yeah. to see him send it to Fatabi so Fatabi can uh, have a little bit of a boon here, because he's going to get run over by Soul soon. It doesn't matter if Forbidden City or not. Eventually, he's going to die. Um, yeah. And you see now uh, Wolf rotating back. He has a gunpowder army as well, and a, a sizable army at that, and it looks like so he's, he's going to be able to take this back pretty easily. Um, yeah, actually, um, I was. this is a bit surprising. Um, I, I, I was surprised that he's actually able to um, just run, basically run over Troll's army here. I'm not really sure what happened. I think maybe Troll wasn't paying attention and just microed poorly or something. I'm, I'm not really uh, sure. Be, I mean, I think Wolf did have a little bit bigger army, and uh, also too, when you're when you're coming back to get your cap, you have a different level of focus than when you're in the offense. So it's just like you're going to come fair. in and yeah. you know you're going to catch them off guard because what happens all the time, right? You're getting a free sack like that, and you kind of exhale a little bit. You get on your heels. You're not really ready for a next big fight, and then all of a sudden here comes a huge army. So I think yeah. that's what happened. He just got caught off guard a little bit, and uh, Maybe, yeah. now he's in. No, no, I think that was their opportunity there, and I think it's gone. So I think yeah, I mean, on, on this, on the top side, um, yeah. Sol has aged. He's teching up. He's going to get Monarch. He's going to get his heavy infantry upgrade. Um, and Fatabi's in a lot of trouble. And Daddy, uh, he's still in medieval age. Oh no, he's clicked up now. Okay, he's um, aged now. He has a solid little army. I think if they if they can push and take out all these production buildings and just kind of force Wolf to rotate back and forth, that'd still be really good because Old Cat's still pretty far behind. Um, He's not quite a gunpowder age. His economy is kind of there, but I mean, he's only at 95 population. That's not really the population you would expect from a, um, a Colossus player. And that's because he took all of that early damage. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Fatabi's done. So, uh, Fatabi Wolf, is doing, I mean, uh, he is doing a good job keeping his economy alive and he, he does yeah, have but gunpowder I mean, age, he's, but his he's army. Just, he, he's delaying the inevitable here. I mean, yeah, he's doing a good job stalling for his team, but his team is not pushing. You know, yeah. uh, Troll Troll did a good job of sneaking that cap in London. I think he went in, uh, he didn't really think it all the way through, right? You bring two, uh, even one citizen with you just to repair, yeah. just stall that out a little bit longer, uh, maybe raise a bunch of, uh, you know, farms and stuff. Or It looks like he did yeah. raise some stuff. Looks like he raised um, one farm. Yeah, maybe the mine too he raised. There might have been a mine there. Um, yeah, and it looks like this this game's slipping away from um, from yeah. Daddy here. Um, Makasika's now, now under is siege. Soul. Yeah, yeah and soul, soul. like who's gonna go right? Like, I is it, there's where where's like Daddy has to keep pressing at the front. I mean, he he can't just let the Colossus player boom up again. Um, no, I think this is GG. I think yeah. they blew the opportunity. Um, Makasika is gonna get taken. Yeah, that's, and that's gonna be that's a cap a sack to Soul. That's a blunder there from Daddy. We've yeah, talked it's, about he this easily times. just moves the Senate, right? It's, it's... Yeah, you gotta raise. As soon as you drop the Senate, just raise it again. You can always build it again if you need your government or whatever. Just get in the habit of raising it. You know, yeah. as soon as soon as you drop it, just raise it. You know. Uh, yeah, here, Fatabi's taking a terrible fight here. Unfortunately, he just walked in and he was trying to save the units, but now um, he's just gonna lose everything. Um, at this point, I would love to see Fatabi try to get a um, 
get a like a stable composition, um, like a like a mostly cavalry unit composition to try to just pick off sieges basically, um, just yeah. slow down the push more because he can't fight this army at this point. He like it, it's impossible. It, he's way behind an army, um, and you know this is a bit of frustration from Daddy. Daddy saying I was killing. No, the, the reason you were killing was Fatabi was sacrificed some of his eco to try and get an early push, and you guys didn't help him at all basically. So. Um, yeah. Fatabi is definitely being annoying on this side. He has some sieges at the front, sieging at Nagoya, um, so that's definitely going to be annoying. But he's going to die soon. Uh, he he yeah, has yeah, yeah. at 70 population. Um, Souls clicked up to mill four now. Yeah, all you has gone down. Another Old big fight at the bottom here between the British player and the and the Korean player. Looks like Troll's going to win this one with some timely spies. Nice work from him, but uh, it's a little too late. He needs to make something happen. Um, Actually, at this point, I would love to see him go and go up top and try to um, just kill Old Cat, because um, Old Cat's still got, uh, medieval or still medieval age. He's only clicked up now to gunpowder. Daddy is here with some reinforcements. He's gonna take back his capital, but um, Old Cat's gonna get another cap sack. Look at all those resources that he can't spend because he's pop capped. Um, if he got mill earlier, he would be a little bit better. But um, looks like he only has 14 scholars, and that's actually gonna cost him quite a bit. A bit of a mistake there from Old Cat. Um, and he's actually just running away. I think he should just fight this. Um, yeah. There's only a couple of units here from Daddy, anyways. He's useful now. He's got mill four. He's gonna get uh, tactics, so he's gonna have a pretty much invincible army. Um, yeah, and this is Fatabi being really annoying again. Um, you know, while while I think he his teammates haven't been too happy with him his play, I've been pretty happy with it so far. He he's just harassing at the front line. Um, Still fighting it out. Uh, Daddy says GG. I don't think necessarily because Troll did win that win that big fight against the British player. Um, British player does still have a pretty large army, but it, he doesn't have any heavy infantry here. Um, well, the, the thing is at this point, I mean, how do you push? I mean, Fatabi, all he can do is annoy and try and survive. He, he's basically out of the game for the foreseeable future. Um, it really comes down to Troll. He's got here a pretty we good see library. A big fight here between Troll and um, and Wolf here. Um, Troll looks like he has a better composition. He has a bunch of cavalry compared to, um, I mean, Wolf's mainly he only, mainly has arquebusiers and archers, so he's gonna get wiped the floor here. But there's a castle here, and that's helping. And also, looks like a couple of these units are just sitting in an ambush for a while. And now actually, looks like uh, Troll's gonna retreat to take London again. Let's yeah, see him start raising stuff. I don't know about that retreat. I think he can fight this. Yeah. He needs to fight it. This is He's their only hope right now. Yeah. He needs to kill all these archers. He's got a ton of horses. I don't know why he's not killing these archers off. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of ha action happening in this game. Um, I think he's still going to win the fight. I'm not entirely sure. But... At this point, I think, yeah, it looks like Old Cat's rotating down, maybe? I actually don't know where his army is. Oh, yeah. it's in the water. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's going to rotate down, lake. which I think yeah, he needs to do, right, at this point. Um, he needs to just try and keep his ally alive. And those extra units could be the difference. Um, oh, no, it will be. He's got a sizable army. Uh, yeah, Old needs to produce more really. units. He, he has... He has the momentum for at least a little bit. I mean, taking the British player cities like that, that's really going to hurt the eco. He's not raising the buildings yet, which is a bit of a mistake. Um, see Wolf trying to kite backwards, but uh, these these knights from um, these knights from Troll are, are quite good. He, again, he didn't bring a citizen to repair, which is a bit of a mistake. He he, if he has this that citizen there, he's he's probably ahead um, by a good amount. Um, yeah. But now it's going to be hard for Fatabi and um, and Daddy to hold two v one here. Um, because the city of Oyupe is being taken. Yeah, it's 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 over. All right, and it is. It looks like that's going to be the end of this game. I mean, I yeah, you're right. I mean, it's Daddy and Daddy and uh, Fatabi are having a hard time just fighting even even two v one here um, on this side. Yeah, and I see some crying here from Troll and Daddy. You know, they're trying to blame Fatabi, but I agree with you. I don't think Fatabi is necessarily his fault. No, it's I think not. it's just uh, just a lack of execution in the middle there. Uh, you know, yeah. Daddy, Daddy did a lot of early raids, um, but early raids don't really do anything unless you can, you know, execute off of it. So, yeah, it, uh, it's like some. It is a little bit of like, I think everybody had a little bit of like they they just they they. they 
they ha everybody had a little bit of like execution issues, right? We saw we saw Daddy kind of target the production buildings instead of sieging Madrid when they had clearly the larger uh, army and they could have easily taken the city. Yeah. Um, and we also saw, you know, like a bit of a bit of indecisiveness from Troll and um, Troll and Fatabi. You know, if Troll if Troll's booming, or sorry, if Daddy and Fatabi are going to try to make a center push, Troll shouldn't be booming. He should try to raid his opponents and try to just harass and be annoying, right? Like. He can boom, right? It's totally fine to, but you you can't just sit there and let like let Wolf get away with everything, because Soul was not doing anything aside from raiding your opponents there on that game. Um, and for top for for Toppy's part, uh, he probably could have boomed a little bit better. He uh, he definitely shouldn't have commerced um, commerce two did ancient. He should have just gotten the hanging gardens because that gave Soul access to that hanging gardens, um, and that was big yep. new, big bad news for them. Um, but you know, other than that, I, I think this was a very close game. Um, so uh, PLA did pretty well to, to hold themselves off um, against the aggression of from Call of Daddy, um, and this they ha Daddy definitely had some really excellent plays. You know, we saw Troll with that giant push toward uh, take to sneak the cap sack at London. Um, we saw this very forward city putting a lot of pressure on Old Cat early towers from Daddy, um, and you know we saw we saw Soul. We saw Soul um, do some raids early on that were quite effective, and unfortunately, that those went pretty much uncontested. And that, that's I think that's going to be the end of this game. Um, I, I think that was probably the tipping factor. It's just like, yeah, you know, you fight on different axes, right? Like, Daddy was was killing the axes against um, Old Old Cat here, right? He was way ahead against the Spanish player. He's going to kill him easily. Um, but Fatabi was just really, really far behind against Sol, and then Sol also raided all of his teammates, so that just hurt them a lot. So I think that was um, one of the main things that ended this game. Um, and it looks like we're just in downtime while Troll tries to fight it out, so I'm just going to fast forward here. Yep. Yeah, I already fast forward. All right. Yeah, tough break for Daddy there. Uh, I think they had some opportunities early, just uh, couldn't execute. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, Looks like Troll's just wasting our time here, but that's okay, whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, so pretty exciting first game. Um, pretty exciting games on Lakes overall. Um, this, this has been pretty much more of a standard Lakes game for the most part, um, but still, you know, pretty... Pretty interesting game here. Um, Troll's trying to hold 3v1 here, but he's he's not going to be able to hold it. Um, Alright. You can just hold and hope for a drop. You know, maybe there'll be a drop. Uh, so. Turn into AI or something. Yeah. Alright, and that is going to be the end of the game. Um, in terms of kills, it is going to be... Um, it's going to be Soul and Troll with the most kills. Um, Troll lost a lot of units in that downtime there. Um... But, uh, yeah, clearly I think they were the MVPs of both their teams. Um, you know, Daddy and Fatabi did try their best, but unfortunately, um, execution was just a little off, and they didn't quite manage to execute their strategy the way they wanted to. So that is going to be 1-0 to zero in favor of PLA here in this match. All right. And um, we are going to take a quick five-minute break here. Um, before um, before jumping into game number two. Hope everybody is enjoying the stream so far. I'll shout out some of the people in the chat. I see um, Joe Fo, I see Suleiman. I see Always Be Positive, Amea, um, Rahaz and Degi Mashur. I'm sorry if I, I don't know how to pronounce these names. I'm sorry. Um, but hope everybody's enjoying the stream thus far. Um, we're going to take a quick five minute break. We'll be back shortly.
Hey everyone, welcome back um, from our break. Um, I believe we're having a little bit of swap around for casters um, because Phantom should be joining us eventually, hopefully. Um, and given you know, you know, given that it's one fifty-five, um, or at least for my time, it's been fifty-five minutes since the cast started. Hopefully, he'll be here in, at least in time for game number three. Um, but as I understand it, Oldie does have to do something else right now, so we're actually going to swap in Raiden um, for a little bit uh, as soon as the Discord gets um, uh, functional. Um, yeah, so we cannot hear you, Raiden, currently, if you're listening to the stream. Um, we're just going to give it a moment for it to get the, the Discord to get set up. Um, oh, what? All right, so we saw pretty exciting game number one on um, Great Lakes here. Um, but um, unfortunately for Call of Daddy, they lost that game, and they picked Lakota, you know, Lakota being one of the best nations, and... It's gonna be it's gonna to be tough losing that Lakota game, um, but I guess fortunately for them, PLA have also used up their Japanese picks. So now we're gonna see some um, you know we're gonna see pretty similar nations um, being able to be used. The only difference is uh, Call of Duty can pick Spanish, whereas PLA can pick Koreans, and they can't pick the other vice versa nations. Um, All right, uh, we we will take a two minute break. We'll be back momentarily while we finish setting up the Discord. Uh, please just be patient. Apologies for the delay, but we'll be back in two minutes. All right, we are back, um, and it, it, we did end up doing that switcheroo um, that I talked about briefly earlier, um, and we are joined, so Oldie had to run, um, he might be back later, might not, not entirely sure, but we are joined now by Raiden. Uh, welcome, Raiden, to the stream. Thank you for coming. How's it going, guys? No problem. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for coming and uh, subbing in. We, we really missed you. We've had you a couple times on stream before, but I'm excited to have you back. Um, and excited to have you for this really awesome series thus far. Um, game number one was pretty exciting game on Lakes, pretty close. Um, but PLA did get the victory in the end. Uh, nice play from them, especially Soul in that game number one. And now we're going to uh, jump into game number two. Um, and uh, um, I, I am currently getting the uh, replays, so we should be able to get uh, the games on time as we finish them. Um, so uh, Raiden, you, are you ready there? I uh, just loaded in the game. I'm good to go. All right. Okay. So I also need to load into the game, but I have to open it up. All right. So this is PLA versus Call of Daddy. 
Yeah, like Kong Fun versus Call of Daddy, game number two. All right. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, good to go. Okay, uh, three, two, one, go. All right, so let's take a look at this map. This is game number two of PLA Kung Fun versus Call of Daddy. Um, it looks like this, this is Southwest Mesa. Let's take a look at the players and their nations. For the Call of Daddy team, we have Troll with Turks, AS Daddy with French, and Fatabi with Aztecs. They're up against PLA with Wolf with Chinese, PLA Soul with Nubians, and PLA Old Cat with Mongols. Uh, well, this looks like a rush, uh, rush set of nations to me. What do you say, Alt Raiden? Yeah, I would say de uh, definitely for the uh, Aztec side. Um, Nubians, I think they're, they're going to try to boom a little bit. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to see Fatsa being troll. They're going to they're going to try to hit hard real fast there with the uh, Aztecs and the Turks and yeah. French. So, and um, it's also the French, you know, if we see a despot earlier, that could be really effective. Um, French despot, one of the stronger despots in the game. Um, and it's also Aztec despot, also pretty strong. Um, yep. So definitely Absolutely. excited to see those um, those players get get it get the ball rolling with some aggression in this game. Um, it is kind of awkward because Southwest Mesa is not really a super great aggressive map unless you, you're fortunate with the cliff spawns because you know it's really hard to walk around a bit. Um, and also PLA do have a decent set of nations. You know Nubians are not the fastest nations. You're you're better off with some other nations um, against this sort of rush like an elephant nation are usually pretty good. Um, or um, you know so, some of the some of the other nations like that, but um, Nubians are pretty solid, especially with the right rares. Um, obviously, Mongols are awesome. Um, are very fast. The cavalry being really excellent. The free units obviously being awesome. And also, you know, Chinese, the large city is going to slow down the rush a little bit. But you know, that's I, yep. I think I would rather have Maya or something. Yep. Um, if you're if it's up against this sort of rush nations. Agreed. And I think uh, the what's to look at is where Seoul is right now. If I were uh... You know the uh, daddy team. I would be going after Soul because that's the one civilization you can take advantage on early. Take advantage of early on. So yeah, he's up front. So yeah. I'd, I would predict that Cat would go to support Soul, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um. Let's take a look at where the players have spawned. Actually, so we have on the bottom left side the red Mongol player PLA Old Cat, who is actually very close to his teammate, the white Chinese player PLA Wolf. Um, in the right smack dab in the middle of the map, the purple French player, AS the Douche, Douchevari, or uh, that, that's Sorin or uh, Daddy there. On the very right side, we have the blue Aztec player, uh, Fatabi. On the left side, we have the yellow Turks player, Troll, and literally right next to him, the green uh, Nubians player, PLA Soul. So uh, definitely a really favored uh, set of nation spawns for... Um, for daddy here, you know, the French player is guarded by this huge cliff. There's no way um, Wolf or Old Cat are going to be able to attack into Paris easily. And um, Istanbul is right next to the Pada. The Turks player will have pretty much free reign here. Um, and if we take a look at the rares for um, for Soul early on available, doesn't have that many great ones. He has Cotton, but he has to go all the way around this cliff in order to get to it. So it's actually quite far away. Yeah, um, other than that, he does, he does have Bison, which is pretty good. Um, and... Uh, Let's see what else he's got. Oh, yes. They found Bison. Yep. Yep. What's, and, uh, what, what's your timer at? Just so I'm. Uh, I'm at 2:57. I'm, I'm right. going off of Soul's vision because he, since he's Nubians, he can see where the rares are. So, you know. Got it. Um, okay. We're about the same. Yeah, 3:05 now. All right. So, okay. uh, yeah. So this is a pretty pretty interesting setup. I'm definitely interested to see where Fortabi goes if he's going to try and double uh, Soul here on this side, which I think would be a good idea, or if that's going to be um, Daddy doing that. I'm definitely interested to see where, you know, Wolf's obviously going to push in towards his opponents, but I want to see where Old Cat sieves, probably on the bottom side um, of Napata, is my guess. Yep, that's but, where he should sieve. Yep. Um, but uh, you know, definitely interesting to see if we, maybe we'll see a triple on this side on um, on Soul, because it's not like Wolf is the Chinese player. It's not like he can do much to um, to Daddy here. He can try to raid early, maybe, but like it's like Paris is so protected, situ like um, in terms of. Um, city placement and uh, the cliffs and stuff it's really going to be hard to siege there mm -hmm. all right and uh let's take a quick look at the um at the rares um for each team um or actually wait quickly we'll talk about the ruins and then we'll talk about the rares so um ruins wise looks like pla is doing a little bit better they've gotten a couple more ruins um, but everybody's fairly even now nobody's super ahead um now it looks like troll's gotten one more rune so fortunate for him um and uh, yeah, let's talk about the rares. So for 
Um, for PLA, they've got Obsidian on the top left side of Napata, as well as Cotton, as we saw earlier, Bison, and Relics. Relics below Karakorum, that's going to be good for a longer game. Um, and below Beijing on the very bottom, there's Dai, and to the right of Beijing, there is also Wool. So, whatever. Down Dai, okay, yep. Above, um, above Beijing, there's Amber, so that's between Paris and um, Beijing. On the left of Paris, there's actually Sugar. That's a pretty good rare for um, Daddy. For da other, other than that, Daddy's also got Marble next to Paris, whatever. Um, Citrus, also whatever. They've got Salt, which is a pretty good aggressive rare. There's Diamonds on the very right side. Um, there's Copper above Tetno Titlan, whatever. That doesn't really matter. There's Tobacco, that's a wealth rare. And Horses on the top and Pappy on the, on the um, very left over there. Um, I think it's safe to say Daddy have the better share of rares, especially if they're going for an aggressive game. Sugar, Salt, and Horses, and Diamonds, maybe? Agreed, but they haven't found most of those. I, if you take a look at the scouting, actually, if you go over to Dia, I just yeah. took a look at uh, their scouting. They just missed Dia. They're not likely to go back to that, just find it later. It's a decent, well, maybe they get lucky, but... Uh, yeah, it's it, that's that. pretty unfortunate. Um, let's. does look like Fatabi's going to miss that. Um, pretty unfortunate for them. That's a crucial rare, especially you know early on. Um, that plus 20 wealth income is really insane. Um, they also, the, the other... Yep. The commerce yep. income is really good. They have found horses, which is good for them. But they, they and they suddenly they do see sugar. Um, uh, let's look at what early techs they're going for. So it looks like the Turk player went for commerce one. Um, a Nubians player is actually going to go for mill one, um, which I think would have been the better choice for the Turks player, um, yep. just because they are so close together. But uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to punish the fact that the Turk player went uh, commerce one first, yeah. just because. It's oh, not oh, he's going. He's going civic. Yeah, uh, and that that is so greedy. Um, uh, yeah, he's gone civic. I, I I don't like that choice. I think if you're gonna go for this build, you just go for the mill and just mm -hmm. uh, protect yourself or take advantage of your you know advantage in the beginning, right? Just you yeah. have the 120 cheap mill. Just go after the Nubian player early. Find some. I mean, they, they see some of their rares, don't they? They scouted yeah. them. I would be going after like that. Uh, Cotton in the back. I know the Nubian player probably have a merch and all that. You know, just abuse it. Yeah, they were raiding that with a citizen earlier, I believe. Oh, um, it's a double. It's a double mill. Um, so uh, old cat went mill one as well. Oh like, yeah, where's his barracks? Let's take a look. Uh, uh, I'm at uh, six thirty, by the way. Okay, I'm at six twenty-five. I'm just like a little bit behind okay. you. Um, yeah, it, yeah it's a, it is a double mill. Um, very interesting choice from these players. Um, and it looks like they're. This is going to be effective because they're going to punish Troll for not having mill at this point in the game um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he is gonna sieve right on sugar which i think is a good choice um have the aztec player shiv forward um which i don't mind i think he's gonna get it too it looks like those hoplites aren't gonna get there in time yeah let's take a look at where those hoplites are they're they're going on the bottom side it's gonna be close um it but see it. it does look like it numbers wise um troll is gonna be able to probably get it up before the hoplites manage it and yeah it's because mm -hmm. they turn to the side um, we do see a couple more units being pumped out. Another Hoplite and a, and a Slinger for a soul. That's a nice little composition there. Troll still doesn't have a um, mill yet, but he can click up on it now. And he has the gun that city up, which is really nice. Um, here he needs to micro his citizens because he, he doesn't have enough money for, um, for a barracks and... Uh, oh no, he's putting down a farm. What are you doing? Um, this old hurt. Cat has a, has a single Archer, but he actually doesn't have any other military units thus far it looks like mm -hmm. yeah just a single archer he doesn't need to build any more food uh, military units right now he's making one hoplite but i mean right now soul's doing enough damage on his own yeah and look at look at that food income for old cat oh my goodness without a city he's at 98 food income that's insane um yep. Mongols OP. yeah and mm. here the, the raids from um from Solar actually doing a lot of work. Let's take a look at the unit kills here. Um, so far, has only killed one and Troll's lost a citizen here, but um, Troll's going to have the unit disadvantage for quite a while. He's only now getting up his barracks. He does have enough wood for it, but um, this is kind of miscommunication. In this game, you really need one person to go for... Um, one person to go for mill and one person to... Uh, you know... One person to go for mill and then the other one to go to And I, I would have loved to see a Turkish... A mill, but um, now he's kind of getting yoinked here. He's he's losing a lot of time and and citizens to this early raid. That's just really bad. Uh, I'd like to point out just real quick that I think uh, Wolf is going for a cheeky little tower down on the bottom near Amber. Yeah, I think it's gonna go up. I don't, like I don't think 
And I don't think it has the range, the city. I think a city was garrisoned before. No, but it, it's going to be able to deny Amber as well and kill his yep. march market yep. as well. Yep. And that's going to be definitely annoying. Um, as a French player, you really need all the wealth income you can get to support your um, heavy infantry. And now it does look like Troll's able to drive off that aggression, for, at least earlier. No idea where what Fatabi's up to. Oh, this is what is the city position? Oh, what? Fatabi's not doing no. anyone any favors there. Oh, no. boy. I'll do that. Uh, <laughs> bad city positioning there from Fatabi. Where, where would um, have been a good spot for Fatabi? Probably up north of Istanbul, yeah. I guess, where that yeah. second city's going. Yeah, that would have been yeah, good. Yeah, it's where Seoul's second city's going. Um, if they had yeah. gone there, that would have been quite good. Um, just making sure they're protecting Pappy and um, and horses, which are both Seoul, critical rares. Yeah. Seoul wouldn't have had a good spot to put a city either. <laughs> yeah, he would have had, probably have had to sit back, back, which yeah. you know, would have been fine, but it's, you know, Napata is still very exposed. Yep. Yep. I also don't really like this French city here of Toulouse. Um, you're, look at this caravan route. Like, this is terrible. Like, what? Uh, you know, you're, you're so exposed to getting raided. Um, this tower is, is going to finish up for Wolf. Nice choice for him to garrison some archers in there. Just going to mm -hmm. kill the um, merchant, uh, the market even faster. Very aggressive spot. And, I mean, it just exposes a really good front for um, Wolf to attack into. And there's no, really no reason to go there. I would have loved to see um, in this game, I think, like, I think... You know, even though Troll and um, Troll and or Call of Daddy is, I would say like a little bit ahead in this game at this point because I think um, I think Old Cat and Wolf could have caused a little bit. Old Cat and um, and Soul could have caused a little bit more damage. Um, they would have been way more ahead if um, if Troll had just gone mill first and uh, the French player just put the city at where the where the Turks' second city is. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Agreed. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they're aging up now, so we got, uh, I just, I'm going to call him Dush Very, since that's his name right now, Daddy. Uh, yeah, Daddy. He's aging up mid two. Uh, what we got going on? Uh, yeah. Old Cat aging. Um, Old Cat and Wolf are aging up. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, Mill two out of, um, Troll right now. I, I like that. Yeah, I, I think he he's just, gonna, he's I think this, go is a, this is a game where you, you kind of want to get it scrappy. You kind of want to force your opponent to, um, be on the defensive because you do actually have better rares. You don't. Need, I don't think you need to all in, but just an early siege factory, forcing your opponents to make a bunch of units, maybe some militia on the potter or something. You know, getting an early cap sack can be really strong, and that's part of the advantage of Turks, right? Um, yep. Yeah, I think he's too right for Napata, honestly, because there's a temple going up at uh, the Nubian second city rather than their uh, capital, which I don't really get, but you know. Uh, that's where he put it, and I think that it's very exposed. So you should go despot here on assemble, just uh, and then all in Napata right now. It's towers uh, lookouts going out on Napata. I'm at uh, 11:10 by the way. I know where yeah, you're I'm at. at I'm at 11 minutes. Um, I'm I'm just okay. a little bit behind you. And now 10. we see here, old cat, nice little choice here. He's gonna go for an early stable. I wish he got, would have gotten mill two beforehand, but um, this is actually just so he can start pumping out life horses. Life horses are really really good early on like this because your opponents usually just have infantry units. And my horses are good for picking off exposed ones. Like these, these units from Troll, if he's not paying attention, are going to get picked off here by this light horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, he's going to lose all of them. That's uh, maybe not the slinger. Right. Oh. No. And the, you see that the capital move to Toulouse there? Oh, uh, what? No, don't do that. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I mean, help. it looks like he's getting a great aggressive. This is a very early stable. I would love to see a despot here. Um, just because they do have those rares. They still haven't yeah. scouted diamonds, which is really bad, but, um, yep. you know, whatever. They, they know about Pappy, but they're not using it right now. Yeah, I mean, they don't need to use Pappy. I don't, let's take a look if they've skipped science. It looks like, yeah, it looks like they've all skipped science. Um, all right, okay. Here, uh, raiding party from Old Cat still being annoying. Um, Fatabi needs to pump out some units. Uh, he needs to get something going. I, I think he's just a little on the slow on the draw here. He needs to get a stable to try and help Troll fend off this raid. Troll is going to get Militia nice and early. Good choice. But uh, he's getting raided a lot here. Uh, I don't know if he really wanted to even go. I, I'm surprised he doesn't have his Senate down already. Like, I would be you know, putting a stable down, Senate, get the Siege Factory out, and start putting pressure on the bottom. Yeah, because there's nothing yeah, defending there's no it standing. here right there's now. No I mean, standing army there. There's yeah, a lookout, I mean, but um, it, Souls was definitely slowed down a lot by going mill first. Um, obviously, for obviously, for the Mongols player, he's doing okay, right? He, 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 went, he was able to... Um, stall out a little bit and you know he has a fast start with bison and stuff but still i mean it's okay. it's tough um 
Looks mm -hmm. like this trade is gonna actually benefit Troll in the end. Looks like he didn't lose any units or maybe one unit. And Despot from from um, Daddy here. Nice choice. Good, good. Okay, so I'm curious whether they're gonna. Well, now that he's put his capital on Toulouse, he has to stay there and defend it. I mean, yeah. he should have put his capital on Serge I am, which uh, shout out to Serge, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Serge does love his <laughs> French um, and he's pretty good at it too. Here we yep. see continual raids from Troll or from uh, Old Cat doing really nice work against Old Troll. Um, yep. And Fatabi's leaving him out to dry. Where are his units? Right, Fatabi's I, a little slow, I guess. I, I don't know what he's up to. What, what is he? He's got. He's got a lot of wood right now. I'd be. I'd be dropping a couple um, barracks at uh, Istanbul right now. Get that standing army going. You could drop two barracks right now, and then uh, get a bunch of light infantry. Right, start roaming around with that. I think he was raiding in the back a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I I, I'm not really sure what he's up to. It seems like he's just kind of like AFK right now or something. And Trolls, or Trolls not really, this mil, early mill hasn't really worked out for him because he hasn't been able to do anything with it because he's just been getting raided by Old Cat. And that's because yeah. Fatabi's just leaving him out to dry. I, I, yeah. Fatabi's going to go for Senator. I I don't know about this. Not a good choice here, I think. You you really, really want to just get aggressive here. Um, yep, it's got to be all in. You know, the, the 3v3 game, you'll have to do the same thing, be on the same page. And with the sibs that you picked, you really should be going despot trying to win the game early. Yeah. Does look like does look like um, Daddy is pretty confident here about his chances to win against um, win against Wolf on this front. Um, he doesn't actually have that many units yet um, compared to Wolf, who has actually more units. He might be able to snipe this catapult actually. Um, oh no, he has a, never mind. Daddy has a couple units in the in the city. Looks like he's gonna try to snipe the catapult. Yep, not gonna succeed. not gonna work out. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the so power of the French now. there. Yep. I mean, I guess he could go for uh, the Chinese city. It's just going to take a while. He's got... Yeah. He's pumping out another catapult. He's going to need, like, one or two more. And then you see Old Cat up there on the left. He's, he's looking around. He's he could come in with an ambush if uh, Daddy committed to that city. If he finally uh, took it down, so... Yeah. And I, I wish this tower for Daddy was a little bit more forward, actually. Um, just, like, on the left side here. Or or on the right side, really. Any Anywhere. Just a little bit more forward would be, I think, a little bit more effective. Um... Now Wolf has recognized, okay, well, I need the Archer upgrade. Nice choice from him. Um, I wish Daddy would also upgrade his units. He need, actually needs another production building here. Um, and uh, now we see Troll going to get up his Despot, going to get up some Ooh. units. His economy is pretty bad at this point. Um, but Fatabi has gone a Senator Aztec, so he'll have a stronger push. Not really sure why Fatabi's making sieges. And also, I'm not sure why Troll put his siege factories in such an awkward place. I think they're going to try and double Wolf down the here. Chinese player, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't like that at all. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. I mean, the idea with going despot is to hit quick, right? And then that Chinese city just takes longer to raise, so you have more time to protect yourself. I mean, and then yeah. uh, you can always and, just pump out militia. Yeah, militia? And this is yeah, Fatabi. I, it being a little slow, I mean, I I don't really understand why he's so slow. I, he's, hey, he, where's his army? He has like a couple units. He's raiding in the back, kind of. Looks like mm -hmm. salt got raided, or horses really? got raided early on. That's going to hurt yep. the French player. Soul's pretty slow too. I mean, he doesn't have a standing army yet either, so they might be able to get away with it as long as Fatabi has some units in a couple minutes. He just needs to yeah. drop two barracks. He's sitting on 400 wood. Just drop the barracks when you're Aztecs, get the free units. Yeah, oh, Daddy's gonna ooh. push here on this side with Troll supporting him. Troll has a couple units as well. Troll's um, losing a couple siege. I'm at I'm at 16 right now, by the way. Okay, I'm at I'm 1540. Um, okay, yeah, so mine's just, just pause for a little bit. I'll let you know when I'm yeah. at 16. Um, but it looks like the French player has a lot more units. With needs to get that archer upgrade, but um. Now we see Mongols player is going to come in with some cavalry units. Might be able to snipe some of these sieges for a troll, which would be bad. Um, the ambush is good, but he's he's going to leave one of his unit sieges out. Um, not sure where troll's going. Maybe he's trying to auto instant kill wolf here. Yep. All right, now we're at the same spot. Yeah, at 16, 1608. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. I seem to be going faster than you slightly for some yeah, reason. Yeah, but that's so. all right. Okay. Um, that's all right. And now it looks like. He's uh, gone for Old Cat's here to support with a couple of units. He's focused on his boom a little bit. Um, and now the French Despot's going to come in. He doesn't have the Archer upgrade, which is really bad. Um, wish he did. He he would probably win this fight easily. And actually, I think this is not a great fight for him to take. He's um, kind of he's walking in. Oh, he's units. getting flanked. Uh, they're, they're flanking on the right with the light horses, too. He's going to lose all his archers. Yeah, but now, now it's, troll, it's a distraction for Troll to take Beijing. Oh, how did they, they just, they saw that, they let that go. I don't, like, It was an cat. ambush, I think. Um, oh, but, was it? Okay, so you only I, lost I don't know about that. this. I, I don't actually think it's worth it, because uh, Daddy's going to lose all of his army. Um, 
I don't think you need to go in. Right? I don't know if they're gonna get it either. It's it's a large city, right? It's gonna take a while. I mean, yeah, I mean it's it's almost the down. Teams. There's three sieges here. Oh, he'll get it. Uh, he'll get it. That yeah. might be worth as long as Daddy doesn't. It, it Daddy just had to pull out there. I mean, he's still trying to fight this. Yeah, he's just mm. fighting against militia at this point. I think he's just losing some units. I think yeah. he just needs to back up. Let the tower fire do its work, which he does finally um, back up. Oh. If he kites back the, and just. He took the city. That's huge. Yeah, All that's right. a big yeah. bonus. I mean. Troll is going to be pretty ahead here. Now, let's yeah, see. Yeah. Fatabi is still being very inactive. He's raiding, but he he's letting the Nubian player just boom up, basically. Would love to see um, Fatabi just start sieging Kadero there, because now the Nubian player is going to go down and try and help. Could they instant kill? I mean... They could if, instant kill. If, 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 yeah, if, yeah. If, if Fatabi gets down there. If Wolf's out of position, yeah. I mean, Wolf yeah. does have a pretty large army. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look, look at this front city. If, if Wolf's not careful, he could get instant killed. Oh... Oh, oh it's close. It. No, no, it's not, uh, not good he, enough. Wolf, good. Wolf with a timely rotation back up to his city. Yep. Um, good choice of him to not fight. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, now Troll, Troll needs to infinite queue no. some citizens, and uh, he should be okay here. It looks like Old Cat tried to pull some militia as well, but uh, that's not going to work out. Here we yep. see Soul with some units. Where's Fatabi? He's not there. He's nowhere. Oh, the time he's going for Kadero. Yeah, mean, he needs to go for Napata. I mean, yeah, to go to Napata. Yeah, <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> oh, oh, Fatabi. We need to sit down uh, and talk, but oh, yeah. he dropped those barracks like I told him to. He's got all that extra wood. Yeah, I, I don't know. Dropped what, the barracks. I don't know what he's doing here. He, he's, hmm. he's gonna I mean, take Kadero, which is, which is good, but I mean it's. Yeah, it's 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 not the optimal play, but I mean, you know, he's no, putting no. pressure. So he's finally putting pressure. That's okay. Yeah. But yeah, just as an Essex player, like you know, sitting on you shouldn't be sitting on that much whatever. You know, no, the free no, line infantry is Plunder such a is good thing. for you. Plunder is good for you. And yep, yep. you know, the French player is trading really well despite being he doubled is. here. He is. And he's Beijing is upgraded, and Beijing is is assimilated, and now there's um, even though Troll yeah, lost his army, he does have um, he does have citizens repairing the city, and that there's mm -hmm. attrition being done. And Fatabi, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Fatabi I mean, does yeah. take the city of Kadero, but he's like he if he got if he went despot this game, right? And he he went way earlier, he would be way ahead. But look at all those floating right. resources. What what are you doing? Spend your money, yeah. my dude. Don't wonder. I don't know, like I, anything. <laughs> no, just like spend your resources. The city is of yeah, Beijing is yeah. taken back. Um, and uh, let's take a look at how Trolls Boom is doing. He's not really doing well at all. He needs to get some more production buildings going. Um, I mean, da Daddy's killing it at as it Zhang Zhao. We're gonna yeah, call it Zhang I mean, Zhao. He, he's he's winning that fight. What's his kill count versus death yeah, count? Yeah, let's take I a look like at the kill killed. count. Actually, that yeah, I good... think Daddy's been doing some work with that supply wagon in the back. Yeah, I mean, he's he's killed oh, yeah, thirty nine kill. units. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of units. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Daddy's been doing some work for this team right now. He's kind of two v one down there, and it should be enough. I I don't know if uh, Soul's gonna be able to. Ooh, Soul is aging, but. If Daddy just moved quickly, he might have been able to take Napata and take Soul out because his army is. Yeah, uh, this is Fatabi just not sit, sitting on his ass a little bit. Uh, his catapults are not moving. Yep. Um, I mean, he is doing good work, right? He's killing the economy of uh, Soul yep. here because he's lo yes. Soul's lost a bunch of farms and stuff. But he could be a little bit faster if he get, if he gets another siege and some a lot more units. He needs more production actually. Mm -hmm. And then Daddy's yeah, still just keeping both of them busy here on the this bottom side. Um. We saw earlier Old Cat pull a bunch of citizens from Militia, but so his economy is a little slow. He's not going to be able to age for a little until, uh, not for a, only a little bit. Um, and the French player is going to have enough um, food to age eventually. The, okay. the Chinese player is nowhere close to aging, needs a lot more food. That's yeah, but they both, they both need, I think they need, uh, how many more? I think, well, the French player still needs two researches to even age, right? And then the yeah. uh, Chinese only needs one, so he's a little further ahead. But they're both screwed uh, from an economic standpoint, it looks like. Well, yeah, we're going to see a fight in Napata here. Yeah. Uh, Fatabi, a little bit of missed target fire here. He's, his units are a little out of position. He's going to lose. His allies' sieges are going to get sniped or going to get damaged by Old Cat's units, but... Um, Nice move from Troll having a bunch of light. Oh, Soul there. might be dead. Soul might be dead here. I think, yeah, I think Soul's dead. Uh, oh my god, Soul, Soul's dead. Soul's dead. Uh, I take it all back. Fatabi's a genius. Yeah, uh, <laughs> execution's a little off, but uh, he did his job. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna take the city of Lolly Bella. Oh. is going down, and uh, that looks like an, it's gonna be an instant kill for um, for Call of Daddy. They're gonna kill Soul automatically. Oh. The militia are pulled, GG. and Soul is dead. It's gonna be GG. I mean. Wow. Wow, okay. what a uh, game. <laughs>
21 minutes into the game, insta kill, Despot, and GG is called. Really nice work from Daddy. Um, you know, yeah, he I saw some Daddy questionable plays, but they pulled it off. Um, I'm so confused right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I really, I, I don't know uh, Fatabi and Troll and all them that well versus but an old cat. Um, I usually predict the PL, I, I would think the PLA guys would take this game and I French Despot OP, uh, I guess. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got to say to that one. Fran that, that French Despot was quite good. Um, really. 50 kills. Yeah. Wow. Let's take, yeah. yeah, let's take a look at the game stats. Um, yeah, 50 kills. Wow. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely the MVP of this game was Daddy. Um, oh, for sure. Really, yeah. really held his own. Pushed that Chinese city, forced um, forced Old Cat to come and help, and then mm -hmm. Troll was able to sneak in and take Beijing, and also forced uh, Soul to come down, and therefore Fatabi was able to just crush Soul on this side. Um, and, uh, you know, we saw some really nice work from Old Cat trying to slow down the Turks player, but in the end, his allies were also just too slow. They didn't get enough out of that early mill, double mill one. And yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Soul, Soul was really slowed down for some reason. I, I don't quite he, understand. It, he went mill one early, and then yeah, yeah, he, but he just didn't then. boom well, that well off the back end of it, basically. Um, well, they didn't have a lot of gold rares either, right? I'm trying to yeah, think. No, they, they I, I took a look they, at they that. They didn't have any, actually. Um, yeah, that was that was hurting. kind of huge. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's rough. Uh, even though, um, you know, Daddy didn't actually take advantage with the Dia. I don't think they ever found that guy. No, but... I don't think they ever found it either. But um, yeah, wow. Yeah, that is going to be um, game two going to Call of Daddy, and looks like we're in for a very exciting series here. Um, we're going to jump back to the main page of infographics here. Um, thank you so much for watching to those of you who are watching so far. Um, and we are going to uh, take a quick break uh, while we um, while we um, set up for game number three. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in five minutes.
Hey everyone, welcome back to the stream. Um, uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, Phantom, we cannot hear you, unfortunately. But Phantom will be joining us for this game number three. Um, really hope you guys are um, enjoying the stream thus far. I'm, I'm super excited for the remainder of these games. Um, it is one-to-one. -one. Again, this is best of five. Um, pretty exciting game number two there. Um, Raiden, what, what do you, what do you, what would you like to see out of these players? What would, what's, what do you think PLA and Call of Duty could improve and try to get an edge in the remaining games? Well, um, I'm not going to question Fatabi's methods anymore. The, the, man, <laughs> yeah, the, the man's a genius. He's outplayed me. He is now the god of Ron. Mm -hmm. Um, but <laughs> I did think some, I did think some things that daddy do were a little, they were a little, uh, unorthodox um you know they didn't really play to what we thought they would right they didn't mill one off the turks and things like that so maybe doing some stuff that's more by the books would help them get a clear decisive win because yeah. i do think that yeah. pla's hand got forced there with the bad rares that game and they didn't have any gold rares that we you know, discussed a little bit in between yeah. the, the games so um in terms of what pla can do better i think just when they, when they, oh hey, hey. Welcome. hey there welcome. we go okay awesome. Had to change that you welcome great um, Glad you can make it. Um, we're really excited to have you here. Um, and we're also joined by Raiden. Also really excited to have both of you here, um, you know, two people who we don't have to, on too often. Um, and we're about to start jumping to game number three. Um, and Raiden, yeah, I would agree with you. I think I think Daddy just, there, there's like some spots where they've made some minor play errors. They've like, you know, that city positioning, not going for that mill one with the Turks. Um, and also in game number one, they made some minor mistakes. So would love to see them, um, you know, tighten up their game a little bit um, and also for pla you know um the rotations have been okay it's they've it, we've seen them caught out of position a couple times actually you know in game number one with um mm -hmm. with troll taking um wolf's capital um and th those sort of things just like a little bit of um lack of lack of foresight on where your opponents are going so um yeah Yep. Right. And then uh, PLA, a little more decisive, right? It was the last yeah. thing that we were talking about. They went the mill one, and they didn't really go for the jugular on the Turks player when they no, cut they up. Didn't. They, did they the had a chance damage. to. But, but, they um, definitely should have, yep. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so do you guys have the game downloaded? I sent it in the Discord group chat. It's game number three. Yep. Yeah, yep. I'm uh, I'm positive one second. And okay, awesome. All right, so I'm going to load up game number three here. Oh, actually, I have game number two still open. All right. Ooh, interesting sips to talk about. All right, hold on one second. So we're going to open up game number three here. This is PLA versus Call of Duty game number three. Again, this is best of five. Currently, they're tied at one to one. Um, and it's looked pretty even so far. So uh, I'm at zero seconds and I'm going to do a countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. So it looks like this is Himalayas, another map. Um, let's take a look at the players and their nations. For Call of Duty, we have Troll with Romans. AS the Dutch Fari or Daddy with Spanish and Fatabi with Inca. On the other side, we've got PLA Wolf with Turks, uh, PLA Soul with Koreans, and PLA Old Cat with Romans. So it looks like PLA are going to be the ones trying to get their aggression on with Turks. Uh, yes. Who do you guys think has the favored nation? Who who have which team has the favored nations for I this mean, map? Fatabi the God has Inca on Himalayas. It's Inca all on him, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, crazy. The legend himself. So uh, you know, I'm expecting Fatabi to just roll them three v one right now. Uh. No problem. <laughs> Uh, Inca on Himalaya, you, it doesn't really matter what the rest is. I think that's probably the most broken combo in the game, I would say. Um, and just... on uh, that same side is their tier 3 PLA soul with Korea versus Inca on Himalaya. So yeah. it's yeah, going to be so. very interesting that side. Yeah, you know, we're, you know, in this game, I do think, at least for PLA, I think they were kind of paid off for Turks. You know, when you're playing Turks, you really want to be par paired against... A, a slow nation like Inca, right? That's the best opportunity for um, a Turks player. You know, maybe get in that rush before the Inca player can really do much to you. But I mean, still, like Inca's. This is this is their best map, right? Himalayas. It's hard to gather wealth on because it's land map, but it's also like a longer booming map generally. And so, you know, um, therefore, Fatabi's probably going to have an advantage in the longer game. Um, I do like the double Romans pick. It's going to help them a lot with their wealth as well. Um, and also those cheap towers might be able to help um, troll stave off any sort of Turk aggression. Um, what do you guys think, to Spanish versus Koreans in general? Um, for what, what do you guys think? What, do you, what Which nation do you prefer? Spanish. I think Spanish. I prefer Spain, honestly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just yeah. because you can raid their rares and mm -hmm. oftentimes 
you know, your allies might not scout very well, so you might be missing your most important rares right yeah, behind your capital. Definitely. That's a good point. Um, personally, I'm, I I think I'm just a sucker for Koreans because I, I love their repair ability and I love their ability to like get free militia and just rush early. But um, yeah, definitely Spain is definitely a really strong nation as well. So um, yeah, let's take a look at where the players have spawned. On the left side here, uh, we have the blue Inca player for Tabi and the game's probably going to revolve around him for the most part. I mean, Inca's on this map is really strong. Um, in the pocket for Call of Daddy, we have the yellow Roman player Troll. And on the bottom left side here, we have the purple, um, purple, I was going to say Nubians player. Um, here we see Daddy trying to bamboozle me with um, renaming a city <laughs> in Pata there. Um, nice. the, um, the purple Spanish player, um, Daddy. And then on the right here, we have the red Romans player, PLA Old Cat. In the pocket, the white Turks player, um, PLA Wolf. And on the very top side, the green Koreans player, PLA Soul. So pretty fortunate for... Um, Daddy, that the Turks player didn't spawn on either of the wings and instead is in the pocket. Um, yep. It's it's you know it's it's definitely annoying to figure out um, figure out your right against a Turks player um, and you know that sort of thing. Yeah. So uh, let's let's take a look at rares. Uh, yeah, sure. So right now. Um, we can start with Daddy here. So right next to Nepa fake Napata, um, that's um, uh, Madrid here. Madrid renamed to Napata. Uh, there's diamonds. Um, right now, right there, there's um, there's cotton and amber, uh, a little bit outside of Troll's territory, and then um, there's gems uh, between Troll and Fatabi, and sugar below Cusco. That's a really nice rare to have. Um, in the middle, there's peacocks as well as silver and silk. And then on the very top side, there's furs in the very top corner as well as bison. Um, Ooh, yeah, good. for for PLA, they've got horses above Soul. They've got tobacco and obsidian right in the edges of uh, Soul's uh, territory there. <laughs> soul, Soul. Um, and then there's marble, whatever. Um, copper, whatever, also whatever, um, above Istanbul. And then um, there is silk, um, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, above Rome. There's citrus right next to Rome, and there's wine um, right on the edges of Old Cat's territory, as well as relics between Old Cat and Daddy. Um, I think it's safe to say that Daddy have the better share of rares for the most part, unless unless PLA can really contest the top two rares, Bison and Furs. What do you guys think? Uh, you got Inca, which is infinite wealth, and then yeah. you have Romans with one, two, three, four, plus you know sixty, seventy wealth in your first city. So yeah. it's an uphill battle for sure for the PLA team. Yeah, especially but they do they, have Turks. Yeah. They have Turks with um, silk, horse, and salt. So yeah. that's something that you have to uh, where is consider. Salt? Am, I, am I missing that? Uh, the bottom, below Istanbul. It's below there. Istanbul. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. Sorry, my so, bad. I missed that earlier. That's also a pretty good rare. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's going to be really hard for PLI to win the long game. Just, I mean, you're right, Phantom. All those wealth rares also facing off against Inca. It's really tough. Um, but, I mean, in terms of aggressive rares, especially if PLA can contest the top, they're going to, if they have access to the top, they'll have furs, horses, salt, and wine, um, all really good aggressive rares. So, with a Turk's Rush, they can be quite effective, and also if they can contest silver in the middle. Um, so, pretty exciting game. Um, who, do, who do you guys think has the edge in terms of nations and rares and where people are? I mean, Daddy has the advantage. I think um, yeah. PLA's best option here is to have Wolf come up to Soul and then all in uh, top before he can get going because he was slow last game. That's that's the way they're going to win this game. Outside yeah. of that long game, it's going to be Daddy. Yeah, they don't I, have any gold rares. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I agree. Um, and I it's think tough. this is a, this is a game where Troll really needs to scout the top side and just make sure that they. Um, Make sure that they don't give their opponents access to furs and bison, and if they can, try and raid horses, basically, um, because yep. those are really crucial rares to uh, deny your opponents, especially if they are Turks and they could be rushing and stuff. Let's take a quick look at the um, the uh, rare uh, the ruins count here. Looks like everybody's doing all right, except for Soul, who's a little on the low side. Only three ruins at six minutes into the game, and um, technologies-wise, looks like Soul's gone for commerce and civic. The Turks player is going to go for commerce and probably also civic. Um, Roman's player is going to, the uh, old cat's going to go for commerce, civic, and, uh, uh, daddy's actually pretty fast here, already finished commerce and civic. 
and then uh, Troll's gonna go for Commerce and Civic, and Inca player is also gonna go for Commerce Civic. So pretty that standard builds from everybody so far, um, which I, I think is perfectly fine on this sort of map. Um, but you know, I think it's gonna be up to PLA to raid their opponents' rares because, and or get some damage done at least early on. If they do have silver and peacocks, technically PLA, but we weren't really counting those because it's right in the middle, and those are yeah. tough to cover unless it's late game. Late game, you could cover them with a third city, but I don't think that's what's going to happen here. Yeah, I really unfortunately think that... for PLA, they actually haven't scouted either of those rares. Um, obviously, silver being the more important of the two, peacocks is whatever, um, and uh, that's pretty critical. I mean, obviously, the Spanish player has seen all the rares and unboxed most of them. Nice work there from Daddy. Nice teamwork. Um, and so, uh, you know, I definitely, I, I, what would you say, troll? If you're troll, would you definitely, oh, I was going to say, if you're troll, would you definitely just blind city towards Fatabi? But he actually has the city in the back here. What do you guys think of this choice? Uh, well, you have Turks who are white on Himalaya. So if they build a city in the middle, you can't really tell where their territory is. Uh, <laughs> so they can go left or right. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very tricky. So if I was troll, I would, I would probably build in the middle as well and and maybe send a villager to each to each yeah. of your teammates just in sense. case <laughs> yeah i i think if i were troll i might have just built on um Fatabi's side just to make sure he didn't die early because if you keep the inca player alive then they're they're gonna have an advantage in a longer game i think right because obviously the wealth and stuff um but you know I, you know, this is fine. I, I think you're right, Phantom. If he, if he just makes sure he scouts and uh, scouts both sides and makes sure that um, for top, neither for Tobby nor Daddy will get doubled, um, it should be okay. All right, and it does look like Wolf is going to sieve near the top. I like that choice. Um, if it's, you know, it's an obvious choice, but it's still a good choice. Um, they're just going to put pressure on, or attempt to put pressure on. Um, on Fatabi on that side. No, they both see fares, fares up top too. I'm at 820, by the way. Just uh... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm at 813. Yep, they're going to both use first Inca and Korean's player. Um, and uh, Fatabi already has a barracks up, so he shouldn't take too much damage. Would love to see a tower at the backside here to protect Sugar and his woodcutter camp. Um, but he's going to queue up a hoplite and a uh, archer there. Yeah, I'd like to see Troll also throw some towers in for Fatabi as well, just because uh, Romans, yes. You, never, you can almost expect it's coming to Bon Bon. Yeah, and we do see Troll actually going to put up that tower um, at Sugar. Um, and uh, Troll says in the chat, 83 wealth. Yeah, I mean, he's doing insane. Uh, I actually don't know how he's getting the three wealth from. Oh, it's, it's his caravan, of course. Never mind. Um, do see some raiding units coming out for uh, for Daddy here, and also uh, barracks for uh, Old Cat. Looks like they're just going to trade. It's going to be Romans versus Spanish. Yeah, we'll see what Old Cat does here. I think Old Cat's got to push the envelope with Daddy somehow and put some pressure there. Yeah, but... we, we're going to see some fighting here. Um, looks like Daddy's archer was caught out of place. Old Cat with three units, two archers, and, uh, and a... And a hoplite. Um, looks like this bowman is going to go down. Almost. It's going to be close. It's at 4 HP. I'm at 9.30 right now. 9.30. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Daddy just said in the chat, he's, he knows what's out coming. Koreans and Turks, they're going to they're gonna all in balls yeah, to the wall. Bon, bon. That is a really scary push. You know, Koreans have that free militia, so it's a really um, scary immediate attack. Um, and actually here, we see Seoul going to go for Science 1. I don't really like that choice. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I think you could skip that, especially. I don't know if they have like a. Wait, if you have a concrete plan and you know you're going to rush, you can skip the science one and yeah. go straight for maybe but, like even a build oh, two. Oh, look at this. Maybe. Troll's going to go for Colossus. Uh, uh, I don't know oh. about this, Chief. Here's the biggest the biggest issue I see is green PLA soul is going science with Turks as their ally, yeah. with Inca as your opponent. So you can't outboom Inca. You have salt and horse. Yet, you don't have, you you don't even send a, uh, a merchant there, to either salt or horse. And yeah. uh, obsidian's really good too for um, Koreans. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I I don't know about this soul. I I don't really like it. And 
Here we see Fatabi going to go for an early mill 2 and stable, and uh, I imagine he'll get a mine 2, and this is Troll going to go for a lookout there. Nice choice. Um, I, I, I do think this is good. It's Fatabi just being active, making sure he can start raiding his opponents to force his opponents to build units before they can... Um, in, fourth units and put them in the wrong spots, basically. Yeah. Um, so. A little raid coming on Jins. It's good from Pele Wolf. Yep. Nice work from him. He's going to be able to pick off both of these merchants easily. There's nothing to defend here. Um, what do you guys... I mean, what do you guys think about this Colossus choice? Um, I mean, Troll does have 74, uh, 74 wealth income at this point, so... I think with him being the pocket player and in such a good spot to boom, I think on, on a an Himalaya with... Um, it, it looks like he's got a tower and a villager on each side. I think it's it's safe. It's yeah. not too arrogant, you know. I I think he 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 might have been okay just putting down the colossus a little bit later, to be honest. Um, like the the colossus early on doesn't actually do that much for you. It, it's like it, it just like it's a min it's a resource sink. Um, yeah, just it, it it increases the wealth by thirty three percent, which would give him over a hundred wealth. You yeah, know, with just one caravan, which is in incredible. We see Daddy actually going to go for a Civic 2 before Mill 2, um, and the Romans player is going to go for Mill 2 instead. Um, getting up for production. He looks like he's going to be rushing. Two barracks and a stable coming up for him. Um, looks like he's going to try and take advantage of that salt force that he has. Um, Turk's smart. player went Mill 2 before aging. Um, gonna yep, getting up a Siege Factory now. Stable Siege Factory. Korean's player going to get up a Stable as well. Would love to see Mill 2 at this point. And uh, let's see, oh. Fatabi's starting to uh, be annoying on this top side. He has an archer at Bison, so he's okay. He's going to get a senator. I'd love to see him queue up some cataphracts. He's got Still one. Interesting that um, Soul is not using any rares. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I agree. It's. Peculiar. Horses is actually like right there, and he's just not using, using it. Tobacco. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the scout's gonna get killed by a tower. There's actually two towers here for Matabi. Um, there's a lot of units here for Wolf, and only two sieges right now. He needs another siege factory as a Turks player. Um, doesn't have government yet. I think at this point he needs to go senator. Actually, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think he has to. It, we're talking about Soul here, right? Uh, or we're talking about Wolf. Wolf. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm I, wolf. I would, I would still try. Does he have the? He doesn't I would have the think gold. go despot. I mean, I think you're you commit fully, right? I mean, even if you don't have it, uh, just get the militia pole, get everything going, right? Because your teammate sold probably he has 36 wealth income. Like you, you're all in on this push on Bon Bon. I would yeah. still try to squeeze out the despot. If and I they don't have scholars either, so I mean, yeah, at this you're, point, you're all in. Um, yeah. So. Okay, yep, there enough. goes the militia pole. That's good. Uh, Despot should be coming out now. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Yep. Good. Yeah. They're, uh, I'm they at 13:30 right now. Um, there's two more oh, sieges. Yep. Despot's being researched for Wolf. Um, Fatabi's going to finish up attrition. He doesn't have militia quite yet. Um, he does have a bunch of units queued up, um, and he's Ooh. researching now. The militia is going to come through. I don't Ooh. know if Fatabi's going to be ready for this. It's going to be really close. There's he's a gotta, lot of units he, here. He, he's got to take that city now. Attrition's going to kill all of his units. Yeah, the, I mean, he actually turns them oh, back. It's like I, the I don't tower. know why he turned them back. I think it was a misclick. Oh no, no, that's a crucial misclick. I mean, it's really bad. A bribe goes down and loses a cataphract. And uh, I think I think that's the end of this game. I mean, I, I don't know how they win now. Uh, wait, how, how's it going down with Old Cat and... Uh... Daddy? Yeah, let's take a quick gander. Uh, Old Cat looks like he's pressuring Barcelona here. Um, looks like Old Cat's actually winning here um, on this side, but uh, Daddy just needs to like hold for a little bit. He, he just needs to not die straight up. Um, it's a bad week for Barcelona fans. Yeah, I, I don't watch any soccer. Champions but, uh, League slam. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you rename your capital La Pata, right? You, you're just, you know channeling what happened to the Nubian player last game, I guess. Let's see here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much an L on the top side. Uh, can Daddy kill quickly? Yeah, I, don't think I mean, so. they're going to have to because I think Old Cat is... Uh, might be able to take Barcelona soon. I'm, I think he... I think... I 
think Daddy needs to pull Militia, maybe? Cause... Let's see army size. Uh, yeah, he probably has to pull Militia. He's got yeah. 13 yeah, he Militia has over there. 13, yeah. yeah. I think he, if he ambushes and just walks in, he should be able to clean, the, clean up the army. But exactly. is actually Old Cat going to be retreating? I'm not sure where he's going. And on the top side, it looks like the Turkish rush was pretty much repelled. Wolf was able to uh, save his sieges, but his army was decimated, so... Um... Yeah, they can't even push anymore. Right now, um... Yeah, right now I'd be counting on Old Cat. I'd be dropping, um... I'd be definitely raising my Senate at our Kirkuk right now. Uh, dropping some Alerts, some Towers. I don't see how you can push on that once you just lost the initial. They're gonna try. Yeah. Um, well, we do see here Daddy actually using Obsidian in his opponent's territory. Very sneaky play. I don't think they've realized that he's using Obsidian yet. Um, I'm not sure why Old Cat backed off. I think he had the advantage on this side, on the bottom side. I, I don't really know where he went or why he why he backed off. Daddy's also using Silver right now. Very oh, clever. yeah. And that's I think that's because PLA haven't scouted it. Yeah, yeah they probably. haven't. Oof. That's pretty painful. I they're pushing it on Bonbon bon again. Yep. Um, and Fatabi's actually gone for Hanging Gardens. I don't really like that. I think you're, you're way ahead in uh, knowledge already. There's just really no need to. Um, yeah, it's greedy. It's greedy. It's very greedy. At this greedy. point, At this point Fatabi's food, for... food yeah. income's just low. I, I don't think he needed to do that. He might lose the city but momentarily, but there are a lot of archers here, and they'll pick away at these heavy infantry for Soul here. Soul's still not using salt or horses. Big mistake. And they have that ruin in the back of the map that they didn't get. They gotta be focusing down that tower in the back. Yeah, these sieges are gonna push up, but I mean, they're just getting destroyed here. Uh, on the bottom side, uh, Old Cat's back with a vengeance. He's got a pretty good army size. There's a tower and a lookout and some militia here. But actually, I don't, with, even with the militia, I don't think Daddy can hold this. Uh, he needs to make more units. What's the population difference here? Uh, population looks about the same. Yeah, yeah, he might be able to. But I mean, the militia are just weaker. It, he, yeah, he is, true. Like, He's a lot like, of heavy infantry. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. There is a tower here, which is good. Uh, looks like they're going to try and siege down that lookout now. Yep. He's got to go now, old cat. On the top side, they're still battling it out. Yep. Our right, old Very cat's pushing. Very scrappy thus far. 17, 10. Old cat's pushing in now. Get those catapults on the tower in the back. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to reduce the city again because there was a temple. Um, Daddy's going to age now. Old Cat's going to push forward. Not sure if he's going to be able to take the city instantly, but uh, it's going to be close. I think he Both players are microing. Oh. Uh... It's going to be close. I don't know. He's starting to siege some of the farms instead he's of the tower in the back. Off. He's backing off. Daddy loses a cataphract for no reason. He's not microing. Okay, oh, he, he is microing. So like six da archers for uh, for daddy plus obsidian really helps. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, and the old cat's gonna have to leave, and I think that's gonna be the end of this game, right? I mean, there's no way they can recover at this point. The, you got um, a good raid, from, good raids yeah. from Patabi on top to clear those rares. Yeah, clearing out horses is really nice. Um, yep, there's H three. Yeah, I mean, if you're PLA here, what do you do? How, how do you win this game? You're triple despot against opponents who have better economy and actually a larger army at this point. Um, I think the only thing you can do is just maybe try to do something sneaky and sneak into Yellow's territory and go for a cap sack. I, yeah, but I he, already, he, also, he already has a fort at Pisa, and Constantinople's yeah. so cramped. Like, it's... Yeah, yeah they, do they see the fort? They don't. But that's what I would be looking at. I'd be looking at... um going straight to yellow right but yeah. that's, that's all you can do because you have koreans they could stall yeah roman's player looks like he went for commerce to uh old cat um that's instead weird. of uh, saving up to age i think he just didn't have enough food to age so he probably just clicked up on commerce which i think is a fine choice get that economy up a little bit higher he's actually doing a little bit better in economy than daddy but now all of the call of daddy players are ahead of pla um in terms of um score Ooh, bribing the siege factory, the disrespect. Oh, yikes. Yeah. At 19. Yep, I'm at 1854 right now. But yes. Okay. Got a nice uh, tower in the middle of the map from Troll just to make sure that Turks don't rotate across and kill purple. That's true. That's really good. 
Yep, yeah, that option's out now. Now it's... Uh, old Cat's gotta make something happen somehow. He's gotta outplay Daddy. Yeah, I, and I'm not really sure how he can. I mean, he's way behind in wealth. Daddy, you know, even if he has all these militia in his army for no reason, he has the uh, he has attack advantage. Um, you know, I, I don't really know how, how Old Cat can pull out, pull out of this one. Yep, this one's... This one's all, about all she wrote, I think. Yeah. Was, again, they just got, I think they got really screwed over. I mean, obviously having Inca helps, but the rares were not kind. The rares well, got... The you know, guys I, aren't I don't know about that. I mean, they did have salt and horses and wine. And um, there was also furs at the top that they could have contested earlier. Yeah, that's true. But I think, um, you know, they were kind of forced into a funnel. Of the, what's, the, what's their option? Okay, hit Bonbon. Right. Yeah, that's, that's that, fair. That that was that was written like any anyone could have seen that coming. The nations, the rares, right? Like yeah. That's all they had to do was research attrition, and then there goes your whole play. Yeah. Unfortunately, and they could have just the only way they could win that is just be better and be faster. Um, yeah. They weren't and fast enough to. I think a big problem of that was Soul. First of all, he researched science, and then he also didn't use horses or salt. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and so a couple more units could have made the difference there. Um, yep. You know. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. I mean, they had to go in all in there, and then, uh, they were, yeah, they weren't optimizing the strategy, which is key. I think that really is what separates your inter players from your pro players, right? They recognize what you need to do, and they fully commit to it. It kind of felt like it was a half-assed Russian on Bonbon, bon, right? Yeah. And it gave Fatabi plenty of time to get attrition, you know, go for a coffee, things like that, and this is what happens. Does look like uh, Old Cat has the army size advantage, so he's going to win another battle against uh, Daddy here. But, I mean, Daddy has Senator. He's going to be able to outboom Old Cat eventually, especially with the wealth income difference. 71 to 120. Um, yep. Oh, boy. And Fatabi's... Or, oh, Daddy actually raiding now with some knights. Um, thought it would be Fatabi raiding, but he's going to get a decent raid here, except this tower here. Um... We do see here, uh, Soul's still trying to raid with this horse archer, but it's gonna get picked off, I think. Um, I, I don't know why Daddy's pulling militia there, but whatever. Yeah, we'll see. So I think, uh, if Tabby's aging, probably would have. Oh, why did he just go age rather than Psy 3, then age? Whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's fine. It, he just wants to age up, I think, then to then start upgrading his units. Um, yeah definitely better to go the side and then to play the long game I and mean, you are Inca, but yeah, fair yeah. enough. I mean, you're, you're going to outboom your... I mean, that, I, I don't know. I, I'm having a hard time envisioning any way that... Um, no, this is all... This is over. Loses this <laughs> this um, is so over. I mean, look at this Roman army. I mean, wow. This, this is a nice Roman army. Wish I had a couple more crossbows, but... I mean... Yep. I, uh, he, he's going in. There's a He's trying to 1v2 him right now. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go and uh, try and just man fight him. Uh, I'm at 22 minutes exactly. 22 minutes. Yep. Um, yep. There's a tower here at, at the capital for the Roman player, uh, Kir Kirkuk. Or, sorry, for the Turk player. I mean, Turk player is going to age up. He's going to start sieging. Fatabi's also aged. He might age in time. That would be very, very convenient. Yeah. Looks like Troll does have a senator out of position, so these units at the front aren't gonna get um, aren't gonna get armor. But now Fatabi's here to support with some units. His units aren't upgraded, but he has a lot of them, and so. Oh, they gotta run. They gotta run fast. Yeah, I mean, even if the city goes large, I think it's over, right? It's like, it's gonna get uh, sieged down easily. Uh, yeah, probably. It'll save him a couple more seconds, though. That's a decent amount of health back. Yeah. I don't think they even need to back out, honestly. Like they don't no, have they the armor walk to in, their... Like use your yeah. heavy infantry. Yep. Yep. And PLA are microing their hearts out, but as I say, more stuff beats less stuff. Agreed. Mm. Good raids by uh, Daddy over at uh, Istanbul. White Old Capital. Yeah. Yep. Clearing all those villagers. Wow. Yeah. And Old Cat's still trying his best here. He, he has Commerce 2 over his opponent. He He's pushing, but uh, I mean, even if he wins that side uh, at this point, it's way too late. Um, Wolf's gonna die. Alright, yep. that, that looks like that's, the end of this game. That's much. our freaking P, yeah. 
I think Daddy's. I mean, Cold Cat's going to yeah. try to push on Barcelona one more time, but I that doesn't even matter at this point. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Troll can probably two v two v one any of the PLA players, or three v one later in the game. Yep. Yeah. So. It's good teamwork, all in all, from uh, Call of Daddy. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, even though I, I'm not super, I, I didn't super like the really early Colossus from Troll. I mean, he, he knew how much his opponents uh, had, and he, he knew when to make units, and he made sure he was there to support his ally when Fatabi got gone on, so it ended up being okay. Mm. Mm. Looks like PLA is going to fight it out for a little bit, but um, this is definitely GG here. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I think Old Cat wants to push on uh, Daddy one more time just for yeah. shits. versus the Roman Caesar's legions. Both of them have the equal armor. I think the despot might give a little bit of a advantage. Yeah, I right. so the Roman. I think tucked in there real nice. I think the Caesar's legions the the advantage that they have over regular heavy infantry is they like unit basically you know how units are like strong versus cavalry or weak versus archers or whatever. They have like mm -hmm damage bonuses like percentage based um like buffs buffs and decreases to when they fight different units so i think caesar's legions just have an, an increased uh, percentage against um opposing heavy infantry i think so sure, he's, he's just taking crossbow shots for free right now though yeah i mean that's kind of the problem of the ar standard run army composition you have your heavy infantry in front usually you actually want them like slightly behind so your crossbows yep. can take the crossbow damage um, yep. And then, you know, your heavy infantry come up when your opponent charges at you with cavalry, basically. Yep. Um, so it says that the Caesar's legions are extremely effective against enemy heavy infantry. Yes. That's that's interesting. So they're great against the knights and... The opposing heavy the, infantry. What are they called? The... Scutari? Scutaris, yeah. Royal, yeah. Royal Scutari in Medieval Age, yeah. Oh, Daddy's going to come out and fight this guy straight up. That's not a good move. I'm at 2540. Yeah, he's gonna walk in. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's a good move. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he can just hold for a little bit. It's not a big deal. Even I mean, even if Daddy dies, I, I don't think it's. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. He's yeah. just he's going around. But he's gonna. I don't know. He exposed himself there. I think he, he has more units. He gets after those crossbows with his knights. There you go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's got it. He's got him. Ooh. Ooh, knights are just... Oh, keep attacking the crossbows. Knights are massacring these crossbows here on yeah, both that's, sides. That's, that's that's brutal. Yeah, he finally pulled his knights back, but it's too late. Yeah. Oh. I don't know, actually. Not sure. Well, the knight... Final Depends desperate what push attack. by PLA to try and get something going in this game, because it feels like everything just hasn't gone their way this game. Um, yeah, they got dealt a bad hand. A lot of excess uh, timber for uh, old cat. Would like to see maybe a couple barracks pop out to give a yeah, unit boost. Supplement with some more uh, yeah. infantry. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. A second stable, probably. Um, yep. That's pretty important. Yep. True. Yeah. Yeah, he just got repelled. It's over. Yeah. All right, and that is going to be GG. Uh, I'm assuming soon. I, I think. I mean, we see Soul and um, and Wolf trying to push, but they're. I mean, they're yeah. like. They have like, Good. what, like 10, 15 units against like 30, 40 units? Yep. So, I don't know yeah, about that. Dropper. Yep, Old Cat just lost. That's, he's, I don't, oh, there goes the barracks, but uh, yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah. All right, so uh, well played from Call of Duty and uh, PLA, they had some, some poor execution issues. And this game was one of those games where uh, PLA didn't really get much early damage done. And then... Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. It's gonna be GG called, um, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be game number three going to call of Daddy here. Damn, um, troll massacred Wolf. <laughs> seventy kills. Yeah, seventy death. kills, eighteen losses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hate to see that. Yeah. Oh, it's militia. That makes sense, but yeah. All right.
right, so uh, that that's gonna wrap it up for game number three here. Um, I'm gonna go back to the main score screen here. And uh, we're gonna take a quick five minute break. It is now two to one in favor of Call of Daddy. So let's see if PLA can turn it around and get those last two game victories in. Uh, we're gonna take a quick five minute break before we jump into game number four. So sit tight, hope everybody is enjoying the stream and um, I'll see you soon.
Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, before we jump into game number four here in this series, we're going to shout out some people in the chat um, that we didn't shout out earlier. Hey, I see I see Phantom. I saw you joined in the chat earlier. Um, I see a bunch of people. Uh, Goofy Lumps. I, I don't know who that is. Uh, uh, Vincent Medina. Um, I see Fatabi Kike. How's it going? Um, I see Joven. How's it going, Joven? Hope you're doing well. I see Troll. And um, yeah, so uh, I see Vamsy as well. Hope everybody is doing well today. I see also see Connor. Hey, Connor, how's it going? Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you are all enjoying the stream thus far. Um, Daddy current leads the, currently leads the series 2-1, to one, um, and I'm excited to see game number four here. Um, Phantom, what, what, what would you say? Who, who, do you think, who do you think will win the series if, if, you know, if, if you had to guess here? Well, it's, it's very close because you have PLA who are their seasoned folk and old cat and, um, and Wolf are exceptional Raiders. Um, I think in the first game, they, they were reading really well across the map and that had a, a, a huge effect on the game. Um, Daddy is a good Raider as well when he puts his mind to it. Yeah. Um, you know, Troll and Fatabi, if they can shake the nerves and not be scared, I think that they, they have a slight advantage in a boom game and also defense. Um, yeah. I, I've had both of them um, play really well versus me, and I've seen them do, do really well. So um, I give a slight edge towards Call of Daddy just because um, Daddy's playing really well. Um, yeah. And Troll, Troll's been doing you know, fairly decently. Last game he had a lot of kills. So Yeah, definitely. Um, and I wouldn't sleep on him. Yeah, definitely. I, I You know, I, I've... Going into this, uh, going into this match, I really thought PLA. My money was on PLA because it just seemed like they were the better coordinated team. Um, but we've really seen some really nice um, team play from Call of Daddy and also individual skill um, really coming together. Um, and so now Daddy does have the momentum against. Um, they do have the momentum against PLA. I mean, they lost game one, but they've won two games in a row. And if they take either of the next two games, they'll win the series um, and eliminate PLA, which. I think a lot of people would think it's an upset. So, um, yeah, let's yeah. um let's jump into game number uh, four here. If you're ready, Phantom. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I'm back Raiden. as well. Okay, yep. hello, Raiden. How's it going? Hey, Welcome how's it back. going? Um, all right, so we're gonna load up game number four. I sent it in the Discord. If you guys saw, if you guys haven't seen already. Yep. But one second. Yeah, sure. So this is game four, best of five. Yes, best of five. It's two to one in favor of Call of Daddy. So if Call of Daddy win this one, that's the end of the series. If PLA win this one, then we'll have a game number five. Um, okay, I'm at zero seconds. Uh, how are you guys doing? Yep, one second here. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, so for game number four, we are on Sahara, another map. Um, I'm glad we've seen a good variety of maps. I, I don't like seeing repeats, but um, thankfully the game's fortunate here. All right, so let's take a look at the players and their nations. For Troll, we have Maya. For Fatabi, Americans. And uh, Daddy, Mongols. Against PLA, we've got Wolf with Indians, Soul with Germans, and Old Cat with Aztecs. Who do you guys think has the better set of nations for Sahara? I think PLA, um, Aztecs, and uh, Germans are just really great and strong age one. And then obviously elephants, we know about those. Yeah. What do you think, Raiden? Um, I tend to agree with... Uh phantom there i do like mongols once you get to age two though uh if he does go mill two we can get some um get some horse archers out and then go around the map raiding that way definitely but definitely agree that germans and aztecs is probably the stronger but it's really not that much i mean you know, sorry such a fast map like i guess the germans if they get a good start that'll be tough to deal with but yeah, yeah. and this map is really um i think it's focusing more on the location of your cities and rare possession more so than individual skill or um, nations so yes. especially it'd be very interesting to see how um old cat does here in the center um with aztecs if, if he can you know maximize the national power at the same time as being in the middle of three opponents yeah definitely and you know i i do agree with you guys i think i think i'd give slash to pla as well I think for me, the big tipping point is um, having Indians over Americans. I just think Americans, Americans are awesome, but they're they're not at their best on, at this map. Uh, Americans really do well when they're given space to boom, get that free wonder, or not the free wonder, but instant wonder, um, and then get the free governments in age four. You know that that's really where they excel. Um, 
But uh, if, if PLA don't give them time to do that with, you know, with an Indian early elephant raid, um, with the German and Aztec players being really aggressive, causing early damage, then, you know, PLA will have, uh, have a really high, big advantage. Um, so, uh, for casters currently, Connor, actually, you're wrong here in the chat. Um, so it's, I'm talking, this is AC the pair. Um, I'm joined by Raiden. Say hello, Raiden. What's up? And then um, we're also joined by guest caster um, Phantom. Hey, Phantom, say hello. Hello. All right. Um, and Oldie is, uh, I think he's he's currently busy, but um, yeah. Anyways. He's slacking. That guy's been, yeah. honestly, I've been there and just casting this entire time. Oldie's just, uh, he's taking credit. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so um, let's take a look at where the players are located, because as Phantom, as you said, that's very important. On the very left side in the corner, we have the yellow Mayan player troll. On the left of the middle, we have the purple American player, Fatabi. And on the right, his ally, the blue Mongol player, um, A.S. the Dushvari, or Daddy, or Soren, or whatever you want to call him. Right in the middle, PLA, Old Cat, the red Aztec player. Above him, the white Indian player, PLA Wolf. And to the right of uh, Old Cat, the green German player, PLA Soul. So what do you guys think? Uh, who, given the placement, what what do you, what do you guys think? Who is the edge? PLA, for sure. I don't think there's much. They've got the center with the wood. Um, I don't really like Troll's placement at all. Is where he where he is on the map. Yeah. Um, he's just also, so far away from everybody. Yeah, he's gonna have to probably build off of Fatabi to get into this game. But then if he does that, then Wolf could just build directly at him. Uh, there's. Or, but I would, if I was Wolf, I would try to build on the other side of that large uh, wood pile there. Um, but honestly, just where they are on the map, I think PLA's got that advantage. And yeah, I was taking a look at the rares real quick, and I do like... I think PLA's their advantage there. is going to end, it's going to end fairly soon, because you see Old Cat's wood camp is right in front, and you could put an archer on the other side of that and deny that. That's, that's and, a good point. Um, yeah. And they're really, they're just outstretched, you know, they have, there's so many different angles, so many different pathways for Call of Daddy to get through, you know, above Old Cat, below Old Cat, around to Berlin, um, and even up to Delhi, there's just five or six alleys that they would have to block with either cities, towers, or um, scout, just to make sure that they're not going to get blindsided or tripled. Yeah, but uh, so. maybe, you know, if, if, if PLA can put the pressure on their opponents and be the aggressors in this game, they won't necessarily have to worry about that as much. Um, let's take a quick look at the rune counts here, because in Sahara, it's very important to see how fast players are going. It does look like it's fairly even so far. Uh, Fatabi and Old Cat are kind of struggling for runes, but everybody else has gotten at least four. Um, Daddy with the most runes. Um, and uh, let's take a look at what techs we're going to see. So looks like Mongols players finished up Commerce 1, going to get up that... Um, Gonna get to that market, and we'll have Civic actually very soon. Uh, American player gonna go for Commerce One. Uh, Old Cat's gonna finish up his library. German player gonna go for Mill One. Um, where do you think his barracks is gonna be? It looks like his citizens are gathered up here, but where do you think he's gonna go with the barracks? What can they see? Um, well, they see Indians, Commerce One and Maya Pan Commerce One as well. Well, I think they're scouting um, the Tabi's wood. So my guess is they're going to split Fatabi and Daddy and raid both of those wood camps from the middle. Yep. That would yeah. be mine. They see first too. Um, that's a that's a possibility. Assuming there's a merchant over there, which there but isn't. Really yeah. poor scouting on, on PLA's part. They don't, um, I guess they, they forgot that there are corner rares and uh, back of map rares that are always really good in this map. So yeah. Daddy's going to... Get sugar right now. He's got a city coming up right there. I don't yeah, know how interesting city end. positioning, but uh, yeah, he, it looks like he's gonna blindly get sugar. He actually hasn't seen sugar or furs. Um, and let's let's look at the let's look at the uh, rares here for um, uh, the each team. So for Daddy, they've got furs and may, maybe sugar um, as well. Citrus below Washington and marble above it. Um, and then further south, there's cotton, peacocks, and dye. And then to the left of the map, there's diamonds and relics way past Washington. And then in the very corner, there's salt and there's silk below uh, to the left of my pan as well as amber. Above my pan, there's wine as well. And then for PLA, they've got um, tobacco above Delhi. Um, on the very top side, there's obsidian, wool, and copper. 
um, in the center, die, um, sugar as we mentioned earlier, there's silver above Berlin, on the very right side, pappy, and horses, spice, and bison, um, but those are all kind of exposed, but um, they could use those, and then there's gem between um, uh, between daddy and um, and soul here, and now we do see those units coming out for um, for both soul and uh, old cat, both of them going mill, and they're gonna come in from oh. a bunch of different angles here. I don't like. know if if that's a good idea for both players to go mill first. Yeah, I, I, would have, I think I would have liked to see um, the German player go commerce civic actually. Yeah, because I, I think the Aztec player is doing would do just fine by themselves, but maybe if they can cause a lot of damage here, like kill like four or five citizens, maybe it's worth it. What's your guys' timer at? Uh, I'm at 6.55. Okay. Yeah. Looks like Fatabi does have the barracks down, and he's going to queue up an archer immediately. Um, and uh, He's also punching um, soldieries. Yeah, not a great idea. I think he was punching the uh, Adol Adols, but he does lose a citizen for that uh, nope. for that crime. Stop that barracks. Stop the barracks. I don't know. I don't think he's going to. One archer coming out. Oh, he oh, just almost did. Oh. Yeah, almost. But the, the barracks does finish up for daddy, um, and so he's going to be okay. That's not um, good. Let's take a look at the unit counts here quickly. Unit kill counts. Um, Tobi's lost two, Daddy's lost one, Soul's killed two, and uh, Aztec player's killed one. Um, they're every, these, this is a micro battle, right? It's micro battle and just making sure you produce units um, when you need to. Yeah. I don't know if it's uh, if it was worth it though. No, I, it doesn't look like it was. Only two units killed for, for Tobi and uh, one unit killed for uh, um, Daddy. I, I don't think it was worth it. Good move by Daddy, cutting off the uh, into the back rares. Yeah, definitely. And now we see um, Soul going to go for a city at the front to protect Sugar. I think that's a good spot for it. Um, yeah. And uh, we do see the city placement for um, for Wolf. He's gone to the bottom there. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, mine players sieved towards uh, the Indian player. Fatabi's definitely, you know, he, he's definitely hurting for income at this point, um, but he, he's still doing a little bit better than the Aztec player. Would love to see Fatabi park an archer where you said earlier, Phantom, just by the wood camp of um, Old Cat and just be really annoying there. See tower coming up for soul to protect sugar, I like that. Yeah, nice forward aggressive tower. Also make sure you can just garrison your merchant there. Yep. And he's going to get his economy up to 100 um, using sugar. And as well. And they're also using, they also have silver as well, um, which is a really nice uh, rare to have. Um, he's going to have a really fast age, even though he went mill early. Let's take a look how um, how daddy's doing. Daddy's going to see the tower getting put down and he has uh, a slinger and two archers, which are going to beat out two slingers here. Although... Um, Soul might lose a citizen, actually. Oh, he does actually lose it. Wow. Bit of a mistake from him. This tower's only half finished. And now, uh, Daddy can just pull back and pick away at this merchant. Oh, actually, he loses another archer for Soul. Messy, sloppy micro there. He could have easily saved that. I think to be able to finish this tower. Yeah. yeah. We'll get up eventually. There's no heavy infantry actually blocking that, so oh, yeah, it'll be fine. and, and uh, Soul had another light infantry, so he should be okay. Yep. But, no, actually, Soul's gonna pull away before killing that last archer. Um, Daddy, Daddy is in a good position right now. Not gonna lie, that mill one really backfired. It didn't really help PLA all that much and really slowed him down. Old Cat is finally uh, getting that wood camp denied. Oh no. Big. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm really seeing, annoying. Uh, he needed that second city on the other side of his wood camp to protect that. Not we do see here Wolf here now supporting um, supporting Old Cat with some units, um, and uh, Fatabi might lose some uh, some units to these light infantry here. It's hard to chase down opposing light infantry this early into the game. This Bowman's going to get picked off. It's going to be 15 plunder for the Aztec player, which is always nice. These Slingers might actually get picked off though. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, Daddy's going to age now. What what would you do if you're in daddy's spot, right? You're definitely ahead, but you know, what 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 is the build order here? Do you go senator? Do you go despot? Do you go for an early stable and raid? Do you go raid, 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 raid. Yeah, yeah. This is the map for horse archers for sure. 
Honestly, I would have. He has. If he's not using first, I would have gone for a mill too, and then dropped like two stables. Well, look I at, did. look at PLA Soul in the territory. There's a tower in the front, and everything else is just wide open, exposed. To wood camp, all the rares, silver, yeah, wide open. Yep, yep. Yeah, he's dropping the stable now. But I really think that Daddy probably should have went for a mill too before agent, and like he took advantage of the furs he had right there. Because then you get double your horse yeah, but archers. He, he doesn't even stable. see the furs, actually. Um, what? Of, really? Yeah. It, Holy shit, he doesn't. <laughs> that's really bad for him. Uh, <laughs> his stable brutal. is going to go up in time, actually, to deflect this raid, maybe, from Sol, who still has some units there. And actually, Sol, I think he's... He, oh, now he sees it. Yeah, now he sees it. He's like, oh, dang. I should have oh, gotten it. He pinks it out yep. immediately. <laughs> yeah, um, yep. Should have outpost scouted, but... Uh, yeah, I hate to see that. You really do. Yeah, yeah. This is why yeah, outpost scouting... Don't yep. listen to Dirty. Dirty has no idea what he's talking about. Uh, Light infantry raids in the back versus Mongols H2. Interesting decision. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, uh, he might be able to pick off these die merchants uh, for Soul, but um, I'm not sure it's going to work out. Um, Those light horses are coming out. He just doesn't know where they're going. Um, he's using gems sneakily. Does oh, yeah. and PLA haven't scouted that either. Again, both teams not really well. I was post-scouting super well. Yeah. Um, you know, that early alpha scout is quite good, but also later alpha scouts as well. Um, they help too, yeah. Especially if you feel like there's tribute some rares in the area. Like, typically they are kind of spread out in a way that if there's not a lot for a long period of yeah. the map. See these uh, daddy raids in the back on silver? Yeah, uh, I'm at 12 oh. minutes exactly, Phantom. I think we'll see those raids shortly because he does have a nomad here in the wood camp. Oh, okay. Yeah, his, his goes slower, so you're gonna yeah, have to. Yeah, I go a little slower, sorry. It. But this yep. is a really nice raid. I mean, he's denying the wood mining of um. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, he's doing I mean, some damage right there yeah, on uh, I mean, this is, That's. Soul I mean, what is. Look at Soul's wood, too. Yeah. Ooh. Soul doesn't have enough. T he's only now got enough money for a stable, but he won't have enough money for a light horse in time. That's that's extremely damaging. I think, yeah, he's dropping the stable now. He can use the wood in front of the, in Trier. It's just also kind of exposed. He's getting yeah. pushed back. It's harassed in the back over there. Yeah, Daddy's playing this quite well. Um, on the bottom side here, looks like um, Soul's going to get a citizen picked away at. Um, and Ooh. he's going to stumble into silver now. I'm at 1241. And um, yep. I mean, this is a really devastating raid for uh, th yeah, this, er this early on. Like, I mean, it's and really the nasty. Top, the top the god down here using the... Villager to harass the Papyrus Merchant of Soul. Soul's getting hit on all three sides here. Brutal. Yeah, although I will say one thing that's going well for them, Fatabi's not really trading well against Old Cat here in the center. Um, he's losing some units. Uh, he is target firing kind of, but uh, he's going to lose his archer. That's more plunder in the Aztec player's pocket. Really needs to just run away, split off his units. Just. Yep, let's get out. Or try to get out, yeah. He's Old only Cat's now aging, unfortunately. And the Asics player is going to go for Despot, which is a good choice. I think Soul might find the diamonds in the back here. He's walking around. Yeah, there is a light horse already, though, for oh, uh, no. Daddy. Yeah. D does the light horse win against three infantry units that are mostly yeah. full health? We're about to find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're not even attacking the right thing. No. Oh, oh no. he clicked, All right. he he gets clicked the, first the merchant. He clicked the merchant. That's not oh good. no! Oh no! Oh oh oh! It's God. a massacre. Oh. One light horse taking out like seven <laughs> guys, eight guys. All right. To be fair, the data was, uh, you know, the data wasn't accurate. Okay. Yeah. I think, yeah. No, light horse isn't gonna do it. No way. Oh really? I think. Oh no! The archers yeah. will survive. Yep. Oh, oh, wow. oh yeah. Oh there you go. Oh man. Oh, and that yeah. missed the last hit. Questions um, are getting answered, guys. That's all I need to know right there. Yeah. Fatabi the god coming to save the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fatabi's a legend, man. Let me tell you, he does some Keeping those He's diamonds gonna... merchants alive yeah. with those two units. Yeah. Um, and let's quickly take a look at the uh, kill count here early on. Very uh, impressive. Look at Daddy. Daddy's kill. Oh my god, 12 kills uh, and Soul's lost 9 units. That's really unfortunate. Um, Soul's getting wrecked. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, You need to put a tower on that woodcutter camp over there. And Daddy's actually gone for double stable, um, and this is a pretty nice army. He's getting an archer upgrade. Looks like he's going to go for some aggression. Would love to see a siege factory, but I don't see it quite yet. Oh, that's a great point. That fight was actually taken on rocks, so I 
think that actually gave the infantry a defensive bonus. When oh they yeah, thirty-three percent defensive bonus for the light infantry. Yep. Yep. Shout out to Muslim Faith in the chat or Fatih or uh, God. That's, that's Fatabi. Oh, it's Fatabi. Fatabi the God. He knows uh, himself, well, once again, the, the, the fucking legend himself. Yeah, a um, great raid yep. at the top for, by Troll here. Um, Wolf's not towered his hasn't towered his woodcutter's camp, so really nice raid there. Um, Let's take a look at how the Indian player is doing. He's doing all right. Uh, he's going to start pushing at the front. Uh, six archers, two uh, two war elephants, and a cataphract. Aztec Ooh. player also has a couple units with a death spot. They're going to start pushing on Fatabi here. But, yep, uh, you guys are 15 20? Yep, 15 20. Yep. Perfect. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Daddy, they're gonna... Daddy has a lot of units here, though. He has four archers, yeah. two, two horse archers, three cataphracts, and a light Thanks. horse. And the senators are going to be really good. There's also two towers here at Washington and a lookout. And attrition's coming now. Mm -hmm. They're calling out the bribes for the elephants in the chat right yeah, now. Yeah, that's Daddy. some great uh, teamwork. Nice. Just choosing, okay, you take the left one, I'll take the right one. That's that's a really, really nice. It's, you know, it's small, but it, it these things it, add it, up. It's actually huge. It's the same. The two elephant bribes early in the game, it, that it would be huge. Oh, wow. Attrition. Yeah. Really and it looks attrition, like, huh? Unfortunately for Fatabi, he's going to get his archer upgrade canceled. He needs to get up another barracks. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're yeah. going to go for it. They're going to fight it out. I don't think they need to fight it out. Just let their opponents burn in attrition for a little while longer. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Daddy's going out there. He really wants that elephant. I think he's yeah. going to get it. Yeah, he's going to okay. get it. I'm at 1604 oh. right now. He's going to start bribing oh. it. Um, yep. Looks like Wolf isn't microing backwards. He is going to take the elephant for free. That's an insane, um, insane buff. And uh, Yep. Sorry about those spoilers, guys. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I see a big what? fight happening here. But, what um, is Wolf doing down there? What is what? Soul. I I don't know. He's just dirtling for a while. He's gonna get start sieging at the front, but his allies yep. have been pushed back. Um, two oh, elephants. Oh guys, uh, uh, Wolf might lose his capital. Wolf's gonna lose his capital. Okay. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, up top, just yeah. in case you guys are wondering, that just happened. Yeah. Nice okay. work from Troll, and I think that's gonna seal the deal. I mean, Ooh. they're losing on all fronts now. Yeah. You know, I take back what I said. Uh, maybe PLA was in the worst position early on in the game. Phantom, you were correct. Because yeah. Wolf had to either, like, go toward Troll there, or, you know, he was in a weird spot, or back up Cat. Yeah, it's just the mountain and the woods. Yeah, the, the mountain was a bitch. To deal with. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I would have honestly moved my capital over to his second city there to prevent that from happening, because yeah. he just left himself so exposed. If he had to make that choice, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, and now... you, in White's position at Delhi, if you wanted to raid, you know, to rush... You know somebody other than your opponent it would be good to put the tower in front of delhi like where the siege for troll siege are now yeah. put yep. the tower there instead of behind the city yeah that would slow them down because the tower then those catapults need to siege the tower first and then after that they siege the next thing right. it's your warning essentially that uh troll's coming yeah so yeah, exactly. yeah it looks like i think troll might actually be able to put that aztec army oh no it's he's mines right yeah, he's mines, he's mines. Okay, it's mines. Uh, oh, he, he might be able to spot. hold it. I mean, he, yeah, there's he not that many units here um, for the other team. He's got a lot of light horses, and there's aren't too many heavy infantry. Yeah. There are some militia, but Daddy's aged, so, I, I mean, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really matter what happens on yep. that side. Yep. Inspired on it's not my fault that he's slow, okay? Pause my game for five seconds. Uh. Hey Spy, how's it going? Hope oh, you're doing well. Oh, yeah, um, man. You, you're pretty much catching the end of the end of the stream here. It looks like because I think I think Dad, Call of Daddy are gonna take this game in the series because they're up two one right now. So. Yep. Wow. Not it, looking, not looking good. Got a uh, greens rotating finally. Yeah, he's gonna rotate. I'm not really sure where he's going. It's really late. I mean, he can't do anything at this point. Yeah, it's getting. Toby's here, just parking his army on top of um, Wolf's last city and. They still haven't taken the city back. I think they are gonna, eventually going to take it back. Um, they... Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Is that not cat quite assimilated. That cataphrat is trolls. Yeah, I don't know if they will. I honestly, like, they're, no, they they wow, don't have yeah. a good army composition. Yeah, and there's some reinforcements pouring in from troll from the other side. He isn't spending his money super well, but... Uh, wow, he I really mean, isn't. He should have yeah. dropped wonders. He should have... Dropped a couple yeah, of racks. I mean, he's tables. trying his best. Okay, it looks like Here's Soul's best. gonna help take back the city um, with some light, like, timely light cavalry. Actually, the city's assimilated and they're gonna start burning in attrition. <laughs> what a game, what a game. Oh, yeah, I'm really surprised that PLA got beat. Yeah. 
I mean, me too. Oh, they, I... did take, they did take it back because uh, Soul rotated, but Soul's about to lose his front city for it. Yeah, and I mean, this is a big army from Daddy. He's only up now upgrading, but um, he should be okay. And then um, Fatabi's like crushing on this side. Americans with elephants. Oh yeah. You hate to see it. it. The scariest combo. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Wow. Anyway. All right. Jeez. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm a little surprised. Yeah. I mean, they. Fatabi takes the city easily. He has plenty more army than uh, Old Cat here. Um, Militia are pulled for Old Cat, but it's a little late, and uh, that's yeah, it's getting, this is all whatever. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, hmm. What a series. What do you think? Um, what do you think PLA did wrong this game? Uh, <laughs> um, all right, couple things. Uh, I didn't. I feel like they went mill one, and then they didn't do any damage with it, so that was terrible. Yeah, they, they um, killed two citizens, or three citizens total, but that, that was yep. it. And then it's like, uh, it's like Phantom said, the city placement was really, really bad, in all honesty, and it really, everything came to fruition that Phantom predicted, so, yeah. And then, uh, they were up against Fatabi, the god, so, uh. all three of those, and it's all over. But yeah, I think city placement in this, uh, map is huge, and they just didn't take advantage of that. They weren't really down on rares like they were the last two games. I would yeah. say so that there's no way to point and blame that one. Um, yeah, then Daddy just picked Soul apart early. Honestly, he slowed down Soul a lot this game with the raids. I think the Aztec player made a mistake by pushing too far in the too forward in the middle. Yeah. Um, he didn't really raid the map. There was one horse archer on Salt, and that was really it. Yeah, it, it feels like you know even. Wolf is actually just killed automatically, um, and that's going to be it. It's going to be GG the end of the series. It feels like PLA just wasn't able to raid their opponent's rares, and that's going to be it. Wow. GG, the end of the series just like that. Yikes. Hey, Sarge, how's it going? I see you in the chat. How's it going? Ho hope, you're, hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, it looks like this one's about to end because Soul's fighting for his life, but uh, he's going to die here. Um, the fort is going to go up, but um, I mean... Yeah, that, that's gonna be it. Wow. That's the end of the series. Let's take a look at the quick game stats here. Um, Troll with the most kills, obviously he had the early cap sack, but everybody else on uh, Daddy did really well in terms of kills, um, and PLA just fell behind. Um, yeah, that that is gonna be game number four going to Call of Daddy, and that's gonna be the series. It's gonna be a three to one victory in favor of Call of Daddy. So um, really well played from them and um, a surprising and uh, upset victory, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah, well played. Mm -hmm. G, right. freaking G. All right, so let's, um, now that the game's over, let's go, to, uh, let's go to the tournament brackets and take a look now that all the quarterfinals are over, shall we? Sure. So we shall. we're going to look at the playoffs here. So, um, and Connor, I see you're in the chat. If you could update this, um, that'd be great. Um, so in so now our quarterfinal, so for our semifinal matches, we have AL versus D Dirty's Angels. I believe they're playing, they might be playing some games tomorrow, actually. And then um, it's going to be Call of Daddy versus AS Gladiators. Um, so Fatavi, I, I challenge you um, to a duel. Um, that AS Gladiators is my team and we'll be playing against Call of Daddy. So um, congratulations to everybody who's won and uh, everybody who w won their first round in the quarterfinals. And um, we hope you hope you viewers are ready for some more exciting matches. Um, I can't wait for the semis um, to be cast because we saw some really excellent games in the quarters. Um, yeah. Who's uh Who's AS Gladiators? That's me, Sheer, Namillo, and Princess. Oh yeah, they're gonna sweep the you guys, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's already over. <laughs> yeah, I got money. Challenge accepted. Um, <laughs> no, but Tommy, right. the god, are you shaking, Perry? You should be shaking. I, I am I shaking a little bit after those games. <laughs> I was like, like, how 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 can I win? How can I win against Fatabi when he floats resources? He floats five hundred of each resources resource for like two minutes and then still wins. Like, how do I win against that? You know? He's in your head, man. He's just you're just sitting there going, "This guy's sitting on like a thousand resources each. He can kill me at any time. Yeah. Build a ton of units." Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed the cast, and thank you, Phantom and Raiden, for both coming in. Um, you know, 
Um, Phantom, obviously, you know, you, you had some things to do, but that's okay. Um, thank you for joining us eventually. And um, Raiden, thank you for just stepping up when Oldie had to leave. Um, we really appreciate you coming in. No problem. I got that slacker covered, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right. So again, thank you both for coming. Um, we hope everybody has enjoyed the stream because I, I enjoyed these casting these games. It was a lot of fun. Um, and we hope you'll stay tuned for the semis, which I believe tentatively they're going to be cast next weekend. Um, and we're having Jatin and Kron as guest casters for those games. So really excited for those. Um, so uh, stay tuned. Um, we'll all post on Discord and stuff and we, WhatsApp and all the places. Um, so stay tuned. Hope everybody has enjoyed the stream. This is AS Eat the Paris signing off.